dreams. A series of events described as colorful, exhilarating, terrifying. Full lives lived, yet forgotten, in a moment, swept away like dust of a countertop. Those dreams, those specks of dust, infinite dimensions of possibility, spinning out from a central point, yes. Once the dreamer's eyes are open, they may never shut again. This is but one of many dreams. On a cold October's evening, one of those specks lands in the most precarious of spots, perfectly balanced between the precipice of destruction and the spotlight of evolution. A possible future, if you will, of an alternate world. A dream of Eden. Electros City, Japan. 2130. A city of progress. A city where rules have recently been overturned. Legalized recreational drugs and experimental technology flood the market. Many onset with the waves of poverty racking the city latch on to this new trend. Desperate to escape. To see anything but the current state of the world. Trance. A drug designed to let people enter a dreamlike state. More memorable than one can experience from sleep, so, of course, the dreamers never slept. A subculture of trance quickly swept the nation of Japan, yet, despite the new progressions, people weren't any happier. And all the while, the drug dealers continued to profit, as the crime rates skyrocketed and the city becomes as hopeless as it's ever been. The city is bleeding, and this dream, this precariously placed speck, is about to be forgotten. We head to Pinion in Electros City, the most impoverished district of this metropolis. Someone unnatural walks into town. A nun, who is far more put together than any of the usual street-faring riffraff, enters Electros, and it cannot be denied the aura of menace that she brings about her. <sighs> what a wreck. You ready to clean this place up? She says this to someone, looking above herself, at the sky. Those around stare on in confusion as she says it to seemingly no one. Keep your head down, John. Another crazy one off their mind on trance. We'll pass if you pay him no mind, says a random bystander. The nun pays them no mind indeed. She maintains her flat expression as she continues to walk into town unimpeded by anyone else. Things here aren't exactly how one might expect. The city's seen its ups and its downs, but this, for certain, is the lowest point Electral City has known in years. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> to a retelling of the sequence break JoJo's Bizarre Adventure TTRPG series, Star Road Now. Set in a slightly different universe with an entirely different cast. It's time to get on the road again. Woo! Oh my gosh, that was so good. <laughs> oh my Brilliant. God. That was badass. Brilliant. That was so badass. <laughs> I know I'm just sitting in, but oh I have to clap. Oh my god! Oh, I'm so having cool. shivers. Just shivers. <laughs> oh, that was so good. How? Oh my god! <laughs> what was that? Uh, How did you not trip over your words once? I don't know. I would note that for Italian help, that could have been way better, but uh, you know. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Jeremy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the reactions to uh, Mackenzie coming on screen? Hell yeah. <laughs>
And uh, <laughs> so as, soon, as soon as that screen happened, I was like, oh my god, it's the thing. It's the, the thing. thing. It's the thing. <laughs> It's a nut oh ice spot. God. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> That's but a nut ice spot, there. That's a nut. <laughs> none, dude. I'm not none too familiar. Alright. We head to a train station outside of the city where an individual has gathered her things and is quickly hurrying to the station as the train rolls in and the steam billows off the wheels. <sighs> well, I guess it is time to go. Uh, Tally, have I just arrived or am I leaving? Um, you are setting out. I'm setting out? Okay. <sighs> well, Verona, you were as lovely to me as the night sky was. I will cherish you always. Looking up to the sky, I will always remember your sweet, sweet smell in autumn. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Mamma Mia, I'm going to be late. <laughs> and then it's odd. You hear something that catches your ear behind you. Um, a footfall? Something strange. You look behind you and you see someone, but that's odd. Most people don't stick out to you this clearly. Oh. Mio mio, sei cosa bella. Jeez, uh, looking around for signs for the right train. Train has markers on its side, similar Electro City. She looks over to it and, uh, just like, oh, crap, and, uh, up and up the stairs. And... Jordan sort of glances over at this woman she's never seen before, yet is oddly drawn to. She walks over holding her things and uh, gives you a cute little smile, tilts her head and goes, Buongiorno. Are you going to Electros as well? Jamie's still looking at the train, not responding to you at all for a second before looking over, just like, oh, uh, what did you say? Are you also going to Electros? Oh, yeah. Ha! Ah, the Vella! So am I! Maybe we can sit next to each other on the train. Oh, uh, I guess that wouldn't be much of an issue. It's the pleasure to meet you. My name is Jordan. Jordan Giovanni. What is your name? My name is Jamie Drostar. Nice to meet you. Ah, mio, 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 mio! Say cosa tan bella. Oh, you are so beautiful. But I'm sure you hear that all the time. I don't really keep track. <laughs> well, aren't you so modest? Oh, I think the train is boarding now. Oh, we should get moving then. Don't want to leave. Don't want to make a line. I have to say. I have never heard your accent before. Where are you from? Oh, <laughs> uh, Japan. But my parents are Irish. Oh, Irish. And Japan. Oh, that is amazing. You must tell me all of your stories. Oh, I have plenty. Don't worry. Oh, <laughs> magnifico. And... Jordan is going to start walking up the stairs. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yep. <laughs> On your way <laughs> up, you do start to hear the bell ringing for last call for the train. As individuals start to come behind you and board. <laughs> One guy drops a newspaper. <laughs> something along the lines of... New legalized drug just hits the market in Electro City. The headline stands out. <laughs> Jordan, uh, her eyes sort of go, like, dark for a second as she looks over. And then her expression quickly changes back to her cheery self as she looks back at, uh, Jamie. Come on, maybe we can get a seat in the front. Oh, okay, let's get moving then. <laughs> and 
Jordan is gonna get on the train. <laughs> Jamie quickly goes after her. Elsewhere, outside of the city of Electros, a light rain has begun to patter on your rooftop. Chuichiro, you're closing up for the night. Joichiro is kind of uh, just rifling through the papers on his uh, on his desk, seeing if there's anything uh, useful. Kind of just all the same, but you do suddenly hear something strange. It's late at night; no one should be around here. But you hear a soft rapping at the door. Yes. Come, come in. You see the door open, just a little creak, as someone very daintily walks inside. Um. Uh, hello? Uh, this uh, isn't too uh, late to come in, is it? No, no, it's. No. Uh, oh, good. I'm open often, but you look quite lost. Uh, a, a, a little bit. She comes in and adjusts, adjusts her dress, and you see she's wearing a black veil with a black top hat adorned with flowers, and that's odd. Uh, Jojo, can you make me a brain roll? I can't. Hell yeah. First roll again, let's I go. Want to. Do First want roll, to? don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Oh, watch me fuck it up. You got oh, it, you got it. Yeah, you it. Why not? <laughs> it's a one. Up. Let's go. You fucked it up. All right. First roll. Let's oh go. God. That's the precedent. <laughs> That's that we're all going to die. It's just kind of odd, Joichiro. She steps in and the door closes behind her, but she doesn't appear to be that wet. She is carrying a envelope of sorts as she walks up to the desk. Uh, uh, p pardon me for c coming so late, but, but, um... She, like, looks left, looks right. Uh, are you still taking jobs? Uh, depends. What kind of job uh, do you want from me? Uh, the, there's someone I want you to find for me. She clasps her hands together. Uh, everyone else says she's gone, but... It's not true. I've seen her once. She passes a manila, manila envelope across, and uh, a photograph sticks out of the side. It's a blurry image, but you can just see the corner of it. And, uh... Who might this be, as I say, as I, like, um, take the photo out and examine it? You see on the photo a, yeah, again, very blurry image, but it's a figure, silhouetted, long hair, uh, can't really see many features because the camera work is really shoddy. There's also a white smear to the side of the person, like... A distortion of light, or maybe the reflection of, like, something into the camera's lens. All the, all, uh, all the information's in there. Uh, um. She, like, looks around nervously. Will you do it? Well, um, I take... A lot of manners of jobs, but, uh... What, what do you want me to do when I find this person? Bring her to me. Alright, well... Not my usual line of work, but... I'm sorry, I know this is probably a weird request. I, you can say no if you want to. No, no. So long as I get paid. She wrings her hands. <laughs> and 
she just awkwardly stands there for a second. <laughs> Do you not... I, have... I don't have any money. I'm sorry. Um, I... I don't run charities, but... <sighs> hmm. She looks up at you. She's really important to me. And I've gone to others and, and... I feel like you're the only one that could find her. So, this guy, uh... I, I could try and make it worth your while, but... but... She, like, rubs the side of her elbow. I don't know what I can offer. Uh... Well, I don't take only money, I do favors as well. Oh? She, like, kind of perks up. I could probably do that. No. My favors are sometimes outrageous. Hmm. Well, I can be an outrageous person. Sometimes. Probably. She taps her chin. <laughs> As if considering whether or not that's true. Uh, well... <sighs> Alright, well, it comes at a risk. But... Alright. You owe me a favor. And believe me, if you do not carry through... I will find you. I'm just I saying. I know, Mr. Ogashkita. I'm aware. I... I don't have any other options. Yeah. No. People don't come to me when they have options. Do you have any, uh... Anywhere I can start? That picture was, um... Uh, I took it in Electros. Ooh. I... It's been hard, but that's where I think she is. Okay. Okay. Um. I might. I think I might have a bit of business in Electros as well. Uh, so it's a good thing then. Convenient, maybe. Yeah, you can say that. Well then, it's um getting late. Um, were you followed? Uh, 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 she, like, sweats for a moment. I don't think I was followed. Why would someone... I don't think anyone wants to follow. <laughs> I don't know. A veiled woman walking around, uh, the, she walks the city. She to the, like, the window and peers out for a moment. <laughs> I don't see anyone, so I'm gonna say no. Probably. Good. Alright, alright. Well then. <sighs> After all, I don't really know how they'd follow me. By walking, I would assume, but alright. Well then, um, it is an odd job, to be fair, and it is getting late, and I was just about to close up, so... <sighs> I'll contact you if I need anything. Uh, okay. My number is in the folder as well. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Igashikata. I didn't really know where to go. So, yeah, alright. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll try and help as best I can. She does a really deep bow. Thank you so much. I'm a bit off put by this because you don't really get this kind of treatment. <laughs> Yeah, she straightens back up, um, and starts to head to the words the door. Uh, don't catch a cold while on your way home. I won't. Thank you again. Mm-hmm. She opens the door and, uh, promptly closes it. That is... A weird woman. I'm gonna I'm gonna start rifling through them. Well, there's the image. 
There's a description of a few locations this person's been before. And there's a few lists of things to look out for. But on top of that, it does say her name and the description of her. Relatively average sized woman, light pink hair, stars in it. Goes by the name of Rachel. Alright. <sighs> Guess I better pack my bags. I'm going to turn off the lights in the uh, in the in this office and I'm gonna begin to pack my bags. Alright. Promptly check the windows again. You look outside and, um, can I get a brains roll? I'm gonna fuck up again. It's gonna happen. I believe in you, happen. dude. I, believe in you. I don't believe in myself. Yeah, you Art. came over pretty quickly after that inter encounter. Settled your mind a little bit, but when you look out, you don't see any signs of the woman. She brought a car. Alright. Not unusual, but. Open okay. the door. The rain patters on the awning over the front door. Question Is my. Is my. Is where I live a separate place to this office? Or. Um, well, this is. This is the shrine, I'm assuming, yes. So, uh, it's wherever you wish, where makes the most sense for you. Alright, yeah. Do you want to be offside or do you want to be here? I'll live at the shrine. I'll okay, be a cool. shut in in the shrine. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna head back inside and I'm going to head to my room. I'm gonna pack clothes and my other materials. Get ready to head to Electros, the city of quote unquote dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Giuseppe. You're driving Duh. a lonely road. The rain potters down the windshield, as you've been told to. Meet up a representative of the Eden Project at a warehouse. Details for a job, more info will be given, you've been assured. Duh, it's quite stormy out. Oh, it would be a shame if I crashed. <laughs> Oh, where is this damn place I'm supposed to meet? Seems to be the turn off right here. Oh, how splendid. Uh, frauds roll the dot and crash, oh. I guess? I don't... Uh, it seems I Frauds do roll not Tokyo know. Drift. It, it seems I do not know how to turn my car. Uh, actually, this is Giuseppe's first time ever driving a car ever. <laughs> So. How did I even get this car? Giuseppe has never even seen a car until this <laughs> morning. Right on. Oh, you got oh, it. Oh, there we the go. The Perfect. Where am I? And why am I back in this car? We're back in the car. <laughs> back, in the... back in the car. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Ah, it seems I found my way. Uh, okay. Okay. Remember what your pop pop taught you. Wait. Oh, I don't have pop pop. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, pop pop is dead. <laughs> I don't have pop pop. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this seems like the place. Uh, okay. Looks like there's an entrance over here. Nope, just the back of a building. Oh. Damn, it's just the back of a building. And... <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, as you're walking around, you notice 
a glint, the light refracting off of two circular objects in the dark here that you hadn't noticed before. As you see, as somebody walks out from an entranceway you didn't notice somehow. It's dark, it's raining. Give him a break. And you see a uh, green-haired woman around the corner. Oh! Ah, you startled me! Uh, who- Sorry? Who- uh, who- Who are- Who are you? Uh, are you the- Wait a minute, who are you? I- No, uh, I know you. You're the one that's supposed to be here, right? Probably? Code word. Eden! Eden Project, huh? She does finger guns. Yes. Ah, perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm at the place. Ah, sorry. She looks left and right. <laughs> And thinks to herself inside, wait, is this actually the guy who called? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, she holds a hand up. My name is Mercy. I'm the correspondent for the Eden Project. She gives a big smile. <laughs> ah, it's very nice to meet you. Osif Kujo. I put out my hand to shake. Giuseppe Osif Kujo. As you shake her hand, it shakes like her whole body up and down. <laughs> It's right. Very lovely to meet you. Yes. Good to meet you as well. <laughs> uh, you seem distraught. Uh, have I done something? No, I'm just not used to a tectonic earthquake shattering my whole body. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I, I'm sorry. Uh, my ah, my size tends to get in the way. Uh, my apologies. Right. <laughs> um... She looks up and around. Yes, we're good to go. You came in on the, uh, the job offer, yes? Uh, yes, yes, the job offer. Uh... Wonderful. She pulls out, like, an elegantly stamped white envelope, uh, undoes the seal, and, uh, pulls out four photographs, and hands them over to you. A picture of a woman with dark brown hair, a woman with light blonde hair, a man with a scraggly set of hair and a trench coat, and an individual with a long white dress. That's strange. It looks like a dude, too. Why is he wearing a dress? Well, men aren't supposed to be wearing dresses. Uh, this new generation, am I right? Yes, quite. Um... <laughs> Gosh, I'm honestly not sure what to say right now. Uh, well, essentially, our services have determined that these four individuals are dangerous, uh, I guess. Mother Fortuna says it, and uh, her word is to be trusted, so, um, they want you to just kind of follow them, watch them, make sure they don't do anything weird. That's all. Okay, uh, sounds simple enough, ja. Yeah. Uh, is there gonna be any, you know, kind of, and I, I sort of, uh, put my hands in, like, a strangling motion? Is that gonna be required, or Only if later? it gets out of hand. We would prefer if you didn't. Ah, got it, okay, so killing later. However, if they do make aggressive motions, you have full right to take any of them out at any point. Perfect! Ah, that's what I like to hear! Ah, music to my ears! She, uh, pulls out a pocket watch and checks it real quick, winds it, puts it back in her pocket, and then looks back up to you. Oh, and also, uh, she pulls out her phone from her other pocket, taps it once, and, uh, Giuseppe, you get a playing on your own device. <laughs> a thousand, uh, dollars, we'll say. Uh, I guess, a hundred thousand yet. What currency does Giuseppe use? <laughs> Uh, Rubles! <laughs> Shekels. <laughs> a large sum of money was just deposited into your bank account. <laughs> ah, perfect. Uh, the, the bank will transfer the funds into my currency. Don't you worry. Well, of course. I would hope they do these days. Uh, yeah, so... Yes. That much up front. One completion of the job, you know, standard, yada, yada, yada. Ah. Uh, yes, yes. And also, if you need any information along the way, uh, 
feel free to give me a ring. I'm almost always available. Ah, perfect. Uh, hopefully I won't be needing your assistance, but if that time ever comes, I'll gladly give you a call. Oh, yes. Good luck, Mr. Yusuf. Ah, thank you. Farewell, Miss Mercy. She gives a small salute, and when he turns around, just her face droops like, ooh. <laughs> Ah, shit, I got to get back in this car. Ah, hold... Mm. Here we go. Uh, Giuseppe's gonna expand the fr uh, the front of the car. Or, like, the, the fucking... <laughs> the roof of the car. And expand. just get in, and then the... No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna, like, make, make the car taller, essentially. <laughs> okay, I see you. Yes. Wide car, get... wide car. Oh, hold up. Uh, fucking... Gitin? How do I... Boom. I face ah. first battle struggling with this card. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there, Mr. Kujo. Do you need a hand getting into your own vehicle? Uh, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. And the car goes back to normal size. Right. Must be a new model. For, uh, Mercy clearly not believing that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could say that, I, I guess. Uh, uh shit. Okay. Oh. You notice the reflection on her glasses as she watches you back up. <laughs> okay. Now, how did how did he do it? Uh, it was like this. Oh no. Okay. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Ah. I swear. How how am I still alive in this era? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of these! Ooh. We don't have to watch him all the way out, but I want to. <laughs> he went from the center to the wrong side of the road. He's what still the on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> oh my lord! Oh my god, he's going this to get in an accident. accident. <laughs> I'm going I love to die. Him so much! Except he dies. <laughs> Holy I saw it. God, if this isn't a bit, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> <sighs> now, the Electros Express. Local communes and individuals heading into the city ride on a train late at night. One individual in particular sits and watches out the window as rain streaks down as the trees passes gaze uh, my reflection wrapped in the darkness of the coffee I nurse rain turns the lights of the city to a mosaic on the windows days paper lists all the things wrong in the world place grows longer by the day. Difference between morning and light. Coffee and vodka. What a difference. The alarm goes off at 5 a.m. Feels like I just closed my eyes. It's dark. I sit up on the bed in the gloom. Get up. I don't shower because I'm late. I pray. The train is waiting for me at its stop. It takes me to where I need to go. The old man stares at me. It's raining. It's always dark. Late at night, the train will bring me back. Got a home. A room where I sleep in. Waking up just as tired as I was before going to bed. Let's grind. We'll try their best to avoid pain. I think that's the worst thing you can do. And suffering are mandatory. Change things. You have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. Old and weak. Afraid. I can see my hands trembling. Losing control. And Derek, mid-conversation, there's like a shrill break in your monologue as you are interrupted by the loud and boisterous conversation in the booth directly opposed to you. <laughs> 
Something's coming. Whispers and hissing grow louder. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. Takes a sip from his coffee. I'm gonna clean up this city. Derek throws the coffee onto the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you hear the shattering of a coffee cup. <laughs> GB does not seem faced. Uh, Derek in his inner monologue. Coffee going on the ground. Last ebbs of blood from a recently silenced body. So you said something about the just fight in Italy, right? Oh yes, absolutely. What kind of places are there? I've have been there once, but it wasn't able to go really far. Oh well, I suppose it really depends on what city you're going to. I, for instance, am from Verona, uh, the city we were just at, of course. And oh, it is so lovely, especially all of the malls and the shopping centers. But my favorite place to go is out in the country, in the Alpines. You know, the mountains. Oh, yeah, I've been there. It's real nice. It's all the different plants <sighs> and trees. Oh, it's mountains. Trees are great. The trees are great. So there. many bodies <laughs> hidden up there. That we should be found. <laughs> These kids talk about them all. I remember my days in the youth. Wish I could go to a mall. What's the point? Just a big monument to. Honestly, I got to go back to Italy some. Eating and the eating. trees around there are really full. easy to climb. And eating more. Oh, so you like to climb trees? That's so interesting. Reminds me of the cannibal. Sometimes, Sometimes it's just hiking. Well, it's always fun to climb Dick trees. Motherfucker. I personally really like, like to go to Vecchio. It. It's uh, Thank you, it had something to do yeah. with those mountain murders. As you can tell from the name, it is a castle in Verona that's down by uh, the, uh, the river. Um, are you uh, are you familiar with the uh, Fiume Adagio? Oh, I don't know that word, but uh... <laughs> the Fiume Adagio. <sighs> Kids it's, these days don't know anything, do they? It's the river that runs through the city of Verona. It's uh, so beautiful. It is so nice. Uh, Jamie uh, pulls out her phone and could you type out what that means in uh, Japanese? Oh, um, of course. Uh, forgive me, my, um, oh, kanji is not the best, but I can still write in hiragana. Oh, uh, either way works. I just need to know exactly what you're saying. Uh, okay. And hey, while this translation goes down, <laughs> at the same time as these individuals have their different conversations, one in duality, one in the duality of one's own mind, we head to the top <laughs> of the train. <laughs> Or another individual has chosen a completely different route Holy of entrance. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'll mute. <sighs> He's just sitting there, cross legged, facing straight into the wind. Sometimes bugs get in his face and smack him, but we'll clean that off later. Yeah, and in the distance you can see. The lights of Electros approaching as the rain scatters across the top of the train car and wheels rumble beneath you. <laughs> A few bugs hit your face, but... The only ho uh, thought going through my head is, God, I hope there isn't a tunnel. <laughs> There's no tunnel. <laughs> and below you, you hear clump, clump, clump. A pair of heavy set footsteps crossing in between the two train cars uh, I'm going to 
peer down a bit. Uh, just like body flat. You, you peer down and you see an individual crossing in between train cars. Didn't know they didn't know they grew that big. Uh, excuse me. Uh, man, why is this car so small? Jamie's like... uh, taken her phone back as reading what uh, Jordan uh, typed out. Jordan looks over. Were you saying that out loud to Jordan, Giuseppe, or no? Oh, I was just saying that in general. <laughs> oh, okay. Because she sort of like would have uh, turned around and looked at you and said, Oh? No, excuse me, uh, madam. Did, this is the, uh, I've never really taken a train before. Uh, this is to El El Electros, right? Uh huh. This is ah. the train to Electros, yes. Ah, si, perfect. Senor. Perfect. Uh, I don't really have. Hmm? Jamie looks back up after reading it and looks over to see Jordan interacting with Giuseppe. Oh, uh, hi. Ah, perfect. I don't really have uh, much experience with public transport. You see, I tend to get lost on buses. So, this is <laughs> quite new. Uh, <laughs> Mamma mia! Mi piace! I like you, you're funny. Uh, would you mind if I uh, sit with you? I see I no problem. Jamie, do you? Ah, perfect. Thank you so much. Ah, sorry for my uh, size. Uh, he gets Giuseppe. I am very, very big. Like, how tall are you, <laughs> relatively speaking? Like six three. <laughs> <laughs> Giuseppe is a big boy. <laughs> so, uh, what brings you two to the uh, the city? The city of uh, dreams, I suppose. Oh, uh, I, I'm coming for a dance competition. Oh, you dance? Yes. <gasps> Mamma mia! You didn't tell me you danced. Ah, oh, I used to love watching the uh, the women dance back when I was a child. Ah, oh, so beautiful. The music harmonious. Ah, uh, so gracious. I, I'm, you must be very talented if you're coming to the city. Ah, uh, you could say that. It's my craft. I've been studying it my whole life. Oh, okay. Oh, That's very impressive. You must tell me when this competition is. I would love to go and see you. That's the same. I'm currently heading off to the studio that I've been hired for to get more information myself. Oh, how lovely. Meraviglioso! You know what? Dares I check his phone? Is is there any uh, missed calls or anything like that? No. Mm. <laughs> Peer over. Can she see Derek down, down like the way? What is Derek doing? I want, I'm curious. Derek is waiting for his phone call because he's supposed to get a phone call. Oh, uh, Miss Cousy, I'll be right back. Uh, oh, okay. Well, oh. Where are you from? Ah, well, I am from, uh, from Russia. Uh, very, very deep in, uh, Siberia. Oh, that's, yes. That's interesting. I've been, I haven't been that deep there, but I've been around Russia. Ah, uh, it's very beautiful. Ah, uh, women, beautiful. Music, beautiful. Our cars, beautiful. Everything in Russia is beautiful. Um, Derek, as this woman walks up to you, your phone rings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for cucking me, Cat. <laughs> You're very welcome. Uh, I know I... Seems like we're always waiting for something, isn't it? Then when it finally comes around. I'm sorry, what? The other side speaks back. <sighs> Great. Derek, are you Glad moping around motion. again? Hoping, contemplating, thinking more than anyone else here. Alright, good for you, sweetheart, sure. 
get your act together and go find it. All right, fine. If anything needs to be found, the guy to go looking for it. <sighs> the other side hangs up. <laughs> mm. Always seems like I'm the one left behind. He closes his phone and turns around and sees Jordan and just goes, Uh, of course you're here. Oh, mio. Che uomo triste. Sei solo? Are you, are you alone? Uh, hey, Jordan. A while. It has been, Derek. I didn't think I would see you on this train. I didn't think I'd see anyone on this train. So far, I haven't. Only soulless bodies. Bearing off into the Aether. Are you going to Electros? Fortunately, yeah. Back to where it all began. I know how much that city pains you. Well, if it would make your trip easier, I have met a couple of people here on the train and. We're all sitting next to each other, and we are telling each other our stories. If you'd like, you can come and sit with us. Uh, it's not far, is it? Oh, no. It is just down the car. <clears throat> Your phone buzzes, Derek. Check it real quick. It's a text from you-know-who saying, I know you're still sitting there, you fucking dipshit. Get moving. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Derek looks at this, uh, and he, uh, leaves you know who on red. Uh, <laughs> this bastard. <laughs> as, as Derek is sort of, like, looking at his phone, uh, you see as Jordan sort of, like, um, because I imagine it's like a flip phone, right? So if he was to text, he would, like, 100% has a flip phone. <laughs> of course Hell he has yeah. a flip Hell phone yeah, for sure, for in sure, 2130. <laughs> For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yes. <laughs> so she like grabs uh, each side of the phone where your hands would be, and then she goes, "Per favore, Tere. Oh, please, please come and sit with us." You say your own stories. Yeah, you can come and listen to. Oh, we met this dancer named Jamie, and she is so beautiful and nice, and and we met this Russian man named named Giuseppe. Well, actually, I don't know. That's what it said on his hat. Stories. A noun. Account of imaginary or real people and events told for entertainment. Yes, that is the what definition. stories are, Derek. On a past events in someone's life for the evolution of something. <laughs> this is the definition of a story, Derek, yes. All right. Oh, come Got on. Got some stories. And she walks we'll over and like, she grabs your arm. Stories are stories. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And she, she grabs you by your arm and starts walking you over. That's nice to say, Jordan. Bit hard to believe when there isn't any beauty in the world at all. At least, not after Lauren. Oh, there. It will get easier. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Mm. Jordan looks over at Derek with sad eyes. Seeing the, pl the the pain just radiating off of him, and she sort of like grabs his arm a little tighter, sort of like in a caressing type of way of no, oh, Derek. And she walks over. Mi amici, my friends, you won't believe it. I I found one of my friends here on the train. Everyone, this is Derek. Ah, how lovely. Derek? Uh, Is that? Is that you? 
Daddy! Because of course you're here. It's been so long, comrade. <laughs> oh, give me a hug. Give me oh, a hug, no. Daddy. <laughs> You fully like bear hug Derek, pick him up in the air. Derek fully put his arms down at his side, not moving a single muscle. At all. <laughs> okay to see you too, Giuseppe. Uh, Tobash! Yeah, it's so great to see you! I, I didn't think I'd have an opportunity. Ah, the time was so long. I thought I thought I lost you, my friend. Don't worry. I lost myself. Ah, you still you still uh having that whole depression phase, I see. Not a phase if it's your entire life. You said the thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You you I think you may have gotten a little uh what's the word? More edgy uh from the last time I've seen you. Ah, friend, come on, sit down, sit down. Here, take my seat, take my seat. I insist. Fine. Hey, Giuseppe. Back to your toy viach. How have you been? I've been, I've been good. I've been, been really good. Ah, yeah, I'm going to, uh, Giuseppe's going to make a, a metal, a metal chair for him to sit on. Because he figures Jamie's getting kind of, kind of claustrophobic. Jamie's not paying attention to any of this. She's just looking out the window. That's fine. Ah. Man. Oh, this is so crazy. Ah, hey, uh, Jamie. Hey, Derek. Jamie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jamie, you're looking out the window, yeah? Um, there's like a flash of lightning, and you see the train silhouette, and that's odd. Trains don't... Huh. I got brains roll. Oh, God. Yeah, there's like an apparatus on the train that's kind of strange. You, you notice it in the shadow for a split second. Like, on the front of this car, there's like a bump on the silhouette that you're like, that's weird. Oh, whatever. Must just be a weird, different form of train. Strange car. Didn't see it. <laughs> Wait, was... something strange? Uh, Jamie's not looking at you, so... <laughs> Just staring out the window. And then there's a bump. Like a heavy boom. As if the oh. wheel just like hit a heavy steel beam or something. A uh, small quake. Jamie grabs onto the table to oh. stay. Do you think the train hit something? Jamie's looking around. Derek, instead of grabbing anything, fully let himself just fall over <laughs> out of the seat. <laughs> 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 yeah, all the people, the, the person you see in your sight line is just kind of looking around like, what the hell was that? Strange. Oh, something feels weird. Yes, I, I feel, I feel it too. Is the train still moving? It is. Chugs along. The lights mm. flickered for a moment, but everything seems to be functioning. Jamie kind of looks around a little bit, then looks back outside. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, Joichiro, roll to stay on the top of the train! <laughs> watch him fail, watch him fail. <laughs> fall off the train! He's gonna fall. You're fine. It was a little unnerving, but you maintained the perfect lotus position. I would like to think that Joichiro is no longer in the perfect lotus position, but rather in a in a like a spider position, sprawled out on the top of the train, holding <laughs> your life. <laughs> fucking gremlin! <laughs> I fucking love him. It's strange. Dick takes out his uh, notebook and starts sketching down Mechisepe and Jordan again on train. Train. A weird behavior. Something strange is going on closes it. Jamie swings through the a bit and then jumps up. Too much sitting in one spot for me. And as you get up, up, Jamie and Derek, there's like, another jostling and a loud like screech that just grates at your eardrums as the train bounces one more time and the speed changes. What the hell? Whoa! Oh, is everyone okay? It almost seems like it's going 
faster. Has the train... Why hasn't the train stopped? And why is it going faster now? Look, the trees are passing by so quickly. Uh, we should probably go to the front of the car. Check if the uh, conductor's okay. Jamie's gonna try to, op uh, to open the door. <laughs> Trains don't just speed up randomly. He's wrong. Like what? a little buzzer to buzz you in or something, Jamie. Jamie hits it. <laughs> no response. Ah, Jamie, get out of the way. Excuse me. Uh, Giuseppe's just gonna barge <laughs> open the fucking doors. Alright, go in, come on, let's go! Roll bronze. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You know, Giuseppe, I could just lock. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bam, you bash open the doors and you see the in between. Another set of doors, this one without a buzzer. Hmm, the captain's quarters. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do it again. Bam! Nice, Giuseppe just nice. like bear rushes through both of the doors and. <laughs> I would like to think that Joichiro follows the uh, the loud noise of a train door falling off of the car. When you get in, the room's entirely dark. Jamie's going to uh, follow through. Uh, oh. And when you enter, something catches your eyes. Oh, oh no! Ah, <gasps> uh, this Mama is bad. Mia. This is bad. Uh, the captain shit, is uh... face down on the central control system of the train. Massive, bloody gouge in his back. Vicious, right. jagged, not clean in the slightest, and there is blood everywhere. Seppe, alright, stand back. Don't touch anything. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What are you doing one of uh. your sketches? Oh. Uh. Well, yes, but I'm also going to look around before we touch or mess with anything. I know how much you love okay. to mess with things. Oh, what? It's so fun. Get your hands all dirty. Really in there. Yes, but in there is inside of a body. Mi scusi, signora Giuseppe. Uh, yes. She's just, like, asking if she can walk by you, essentially. Yeah. Oh, oh, my apologies. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Grazie. Oh. Uh, you see as Jordan just sort of like gets down on like one knee and she she looks at the man and she just sort of like bows her head down as you hear her whisper Riposa ora pobre anima oh. There's Such... another boom as you do that it like your hand prayer just bounces into your chin <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> and there's another kajunk, And the train starts going faster. How can the train be moving if there is no one controlling it? Did you hit something? Huh, no! Maybe something is controlling the train. Either way, I have to get this out. But Derek is not going to use his two uh, thingamabobs, uh, two trades, Metacurgy and Construct and Rewind. Metacurgy is just to find out what caused these wounds. Deconstruction Rewind is to try and figure out what exactly the sequence of events here. All right. Give me a brains roll plus those traits. All right. Derek, it's not hard to figure out what happened here. This man was stabbed to the back with some horrible, not a normal weapon. No, something weird. Definitely something very sharp and gutted. He died instantly, more or less, and slumped over on the controls, but... That's the other thing. Where the fuck did the person who got in here come from? There's no other entrances and you didn't see anyone go by. So either the person's still in the room, or something else happened. Derek relays all this information to everyone else in the room, uh, and starts to sketch the scene in his notebook. Jamie looks around. Man, as is, uh, as everyone is, uh like, turn towards the body, I'm gonna say that Joichiro hops down from his roof and onto the... Like, he takes off his mask, puts on some of his other clothes, and he, and he, yeah, and he hops down onto the intersection. He's gonna walk in, he's gonna be like, 
What's why? Why is the train going faster? Ah, oh, who are you? And uh, <gasps> Giuseppe's going to, uh, he's going to hold uh, Garitro in place with steel. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Hang on. From two whoa. cars back. Whoa, audio. I'm from two cars back. Why is it going faster? What were all those bumps? Uh, we're trying to figure that out now. Uh, I'm dead. Uh, Giuseppe, uh, gets the steel, rid, rid of the steel. Uh, <laughs> shit, I'm sorry. Are you, are you okay? Yeah. Like, he's shaking his, his like, hands around. I was like, oh, what the hell was that? Uh, don't, don't, don't worry. Uh, what's, what's... Derek, can I touch the controls now, or are you still sketching like a little idiot? <sighs> well, this little idiot solves more crimes than I don't know. There are bananas in a bunch. Yes, you can so... touch the controls. Oh, Be careful because of fingerprints. Fingerprints. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll just use uh. Um, because if he's gonna, like, use a, a long metal, like, like, bar and push the controls to where it starts to slow down. It's interesting, Giuseppe, you try to do this and... The, the system's dead. The console's dead. Nothing's working. Oh! Well, shit! I guess we're fucked, because everything's dead! Jamie's nervously, like, stepping oh, back no. and forth. Uh... And then... <laughs> As you are all, like, panicking, like, oh god, everything's fucked. The door behind you opens. And someone else steps in. Out of there, uh... You all happen to know what's going on. Well, this done train stopped all those bumps. My, my, what a party. He looks around. Well, don't y'all speak at once? Uh, uh, no, Signore. We we are trying to figure out what is going on right now. Uh, it seems that someone has killed the the conductor. And He's... just to be clear, it wasn't us. Ah. Uh, he he shrugs and like puts his hands in his pockets. Well, that's good to know. I can trust that. Anyway, folks, I done came from a few cars back. I'm telling me what's going on here. He uh, looks uh, past uh, you. Uh, apparently, the uh, conductor was uh, murdered. Uh, we we don't know how, and the train, it's the system, it, it's gone. It, well, it doesn't actually, exist. I do know how he was murdered. I just checked it out. But once again, reiterating, it was not us who did it. Jamie's not paying attention to anything. Hey, this is just nervously pacing back and forth. No. Uh, maybe. Maybe I could uh uh disconnect the uh the the train the the, the main engine with the uh, other car. Don't cars, bother so. yourself, sweetheart. Seems like the manual override's been hit. I had to make a guess. Train of this model. Secondary engines in the back. Is there oh, any type of emergency brake that you can hit? Uh, surely there must be some kind of failsafe for if this happens, right? <laughs> The guy chuckles and puts a hand over his head. Maybe. I think then. Y'all are. Uh, he looks around at all of you. Pretty lucky. That your timing's so good. Pretty lucky that you came across me. The Night Rider. On his nighttime ride. Trying to catch this motherfucker for years now. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> he looks so freaky! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I was you just gonna do and sense that I help y'all out, but uh. He rubs the back of his head. Ah, oh, shucks. What do you mean looking for me? I got like one wife, two wives, three other looking. Are you one of my wives? I've been hired by all three of them. <laughs> you have a lot of unpaid child support. Oh, I say that would explain it. Right, I'm gonna hightail it out of here now. He turns around and starts running. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, no! Wait, wait. Can oh, you, do you wanna God. zoom in? Do you wanna zoom in here? Look at him! Oh, oh my God! That's so good, Jagger oh. Swagger, Jagger. Oh, that looks so good, Tally. My God. The <laughs> Night Rider. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Any of that sequence of events just happened. Yeah, fucking, yeah, Jordan's gonna run after him. Wait, come back! <laughs> you come I'm through and at you, a loss um, for words. With the door open, you just see him go, <laughs> <laughs> like running into the next car. <laughs> no, Signore, wait, wait, we are not going to capture you. No, him. I'm not facing my marital issues today, Sonny. No <laughs> way, <laughs> Jose! <laughs> Oh shit, did you get him? Oh no. He is high telling it because he does not want to deal with the drama that is coming with his wife and his children. Ah, uh, god. Ah, uh, Derek! Ah, uh, motherfucker. Oh. So you're just not gonna go chase after that guy like everyone else is? No, no, I'm much more interested. What's going on right here? I don't really have interest in people and their. Marital problems. <laughs> Think I do. We're both standing here. I would assume that, yeah, for the same reason. Now, the problem at hand. Um. Oh. Yes, there is a dead body, but there's a dead body, broken controls, manual override. We can't stop this train. <sighs> we could, but also to set the record straight I don't think that uh, chasing after that guy either they catch him or he gets away I'm not going to help anything I can't help with though is figuring what the hell happened here well, I would assume that this man has been dead for a while how oh, long has he been dead? Uh, it seems like he's been dead uh, re very recently <laughs> not, not like a while while as in the first bump the first bump yes that's that's a relative time frame. Write that down as a possible clue. I want to go back to this. <laughs> <sighs> How can you both run so fast? Oh my goodness! You got to shake, stay in shape when you're dancing. Uh, do you want me to carry you? Huh? <sighs> would you be so kind? Here, uh, I would you... jump onto your back, and she <laughs> hops onto <laughs> Giuseppe's back. <laughs> back, 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 back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go! Yep, yep! <laughs> no! <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> oh, God. And escape it, no matter where I go. <laughs> uh, JB looks back to the two. So, uh, why are we running? Because uh, we have uh, to catch him, right? He seems to uh, be cat, running cat because of his marital issues. <laughs> <laughs> Signore, where are you? <laughs> Signore, don't worry. We won't let Derek take you and your to your kids. Don't worry. We will forget about your unpaid child support. I promise. Eric sneezes <laughs> off the other room. We swear. Weird. Like, we just Talk need help stopping this train. Uh, wow, we totally just ran by him. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to, I want to go back to this man real quick. Back in this room, the guy's sweating. Oh my god. Goodness, that big fella didn't even see me. Right, I just gotta make my getaway. He uh, taps the bed and goes under the bed and promptly disappears. <laughs> what? <laughs> God damn it! I trust you guys for one second. For one <laughs> second. God I didn't damn it! The fact that we're all fucking dumbass. Wait a minute. Those rooms we passed. What if he was hiding in there? What rooms? I didn't see any rooms. We run past two cabins. Oh Jeez, shit! <laughs> lady, oh, lady clearly is like just cleaning up a spillage from the bumps. <laughs> uh, here I check this room. You check out the room, okay? Okay. All right, good. <laughs> uh, just happy mm. you come in. Uh, this guy is sitting here watching TV. He's like, "Hey, dude, private court help? What? Huh?" Oh. <laughs> Miss Guzzi, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I was looking for a man with a, a hat and red goggles. Um, his hat says Jagger Swagger Jagger. 
Have you seen him? A man stands up. The man comes over, holds out a hand, pushes you out of the room, and closes the door. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mamma mia, how rude! And then swaps the, like, puts, like, opens the door for a second, pulls out a little busy sign, puts it on the doorknob, and then closes it again. <laughs> <laughs> huh! Well, I never. Giuseppe, uh, in this room, though. <laughs> Giuseppe's going to, uh, he's gonna stomp his foot on the ground and he's gonna feel if there's any sort of, uh, open area within metal. Not that you can tell. Ah! So it looks like there wasn't any sort of escape here. Uh, he's gonna check under the TV. Nothing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> do the TV! Sorry. <laughs> yes, do the TV. Ah, no one would hide under the bed! That's so stupid and cliche! And he's just gonna grab the entire mattress and throw it across the room. <laughs> you lift it up, you see the slats of the bed, and uh, yeah, there's no one under there. Damn! <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, Jordan! Uh, no mm -hmm. one's here. Uh, doesn't look like a escape could have happened. Oh, uh, that is too bad. He probably just kept running ahead then. Yes, I tried to ask the other man in the other room, but he very rudely kicked me out and shut the door. Oh, how rude! What a jackass! I know! God, so... <sighs> ah, some people, you know? Jamie, do you want to do anything? <laughs> Jamie's just continuing forward, not knowing who to look for. <laughs> just kind of... <laughs> just uh, walks over, sees the woman trying... Uh, cleaning up and it's just like, oh, uh, do you need help with that? Uh, no thanks. I've got it. Give us a thumbs up. She seems to be almost done after the last bump. Could you, um, if this isn't too much trouble, could you ask the captain why things are going fast? It's a little weird, don't you think? I'll, I'll go check it out to see. If... Thank you. I'll go check it out, don't worry. Much appreciated. Jamie gives a bright smile and uh, thumbs up and turns around and quickly has like a kind of guilty look as she's just like, oh god. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck. <laughs> like, are any windows ajar and left open? Ooh. Give me a brain roll. Yeah, because none of the windows are left ajar, but as you're looking around at them, this little like divider bar here. It seems to be warped, almost as if, like, you know how when you bend a paperclip, the metal goes back warped? Mm-hmm. It looks like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap Derek's shoulder and point over to the, uh, to the funky-ass divider bar. I think that's, uh, some left by our culprit? Dude, it was just left there, like, on the train. I would've repaired it. I had the last stop or something. Spot. Aim. You know what? I'm gonna check outside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the window, and I'm gonna like shove three fourths of my body outside and hang on to the rest of the train. <laughs> okay, Derek, you see this man just do that. <laughs> Derek could not give less of a fuck. Uh, but well, he well, he does notice how uh, this man did not answer his question about what his name was. Uh, but he he does say, "Oh, do you see anything out there?" Do I? Rain. The trees going by rather quickly, and electricity approaching in the distance. Do I see any more warped metal? I don't Why see do any more time? warped metal, Jiro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing back inside and I'm gonna go, nope, no, nothing. Looks like they just kind of up and vanished. Oh, the warped metal is confusing. But as far as I can see, there's nothing really left in this room. Though, so, because I said that, now they're probably... After but a second, Derek and Joey Jiro, you hear a... Hi. Hi, partner. Hi. I might not surprise in the slightest. Yeah. Come back. I outsmarted them. Don't worry about it. Oh, that was... I... It was just the... They real. 
Okay, I'm just gonna let that one slide for now. Neither of you two are done working for my wives, right? I mean... Pardon? Good! Don't worry about it! <laughs> I just, uh... Oh, me, oh my. Well, I might be done coming back this way, but... I just wanted to give you all a heads up. I checked out the train, and it seems something's weird with the caboose done in the back. Or your doll should, uh... Looks left, looks right. Like to know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we would like to know that. I don't well, know now you know. <laughs> what, what kind Signature of Night Rider information. Glad to give apparition. you. What about what? what? kind of weird apparitions you see in. Weird apparitions? Boy, I don't know what you done talking about. What's wrong with the caboose, as you would say? Wrong with it? I mean, I just got a weird, funny smell from it, that's all. Ran down there when your friends were done chasing me for a marital avoidance. Alright, well... If you'd like to help us out more, that'd be appreciated, but... I mean, I'd like to, but, uh... Do y'all call off the other three? I yes, think I think that if they missed thing. you, they... And wearing such an outfit as yourself. Hey now. I do not think they'll be hard to rein in. Hey now, black is done camouflage. Don't you dare start that on me. Oh no no no, that's not. I mean, look at me. I love black. Black's the best color. Second favorite color is gray. I'd say it's the best color out of all of them. I was just saying how your hats and goggles don't really. Well, let's just say they're unique. You're making fun of my fashion, and I don't likely appreciate it, boy. But I'll let it slide until we figure this out. I'm not making fun of it. Out. I'm actually complimenting it. Are you? I've seen that way. Don't done seem yes. that way. I mean, I've just never seen those goggles before. That's not a bad thing. But I think that's pretty neat. All righty. Good. Y'all not right of fashion. Checks out. He does like a t -t -t with his fingers as he heads out the door. I hate that guy. He's a, a fella, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, well, now we have to get to the caboose. Uh, which means we have to walk past the others. Mm. Well then. No. Don't caboose. take our killer time to escape. Now. A railroad car with accommodations for the train crew. Oh, I'm gonna Death grab Derek by the, the collar and start dragging him. <laughs> Very well! You can drag me all you want, but this is letting me put in less effort. That's fine, so long as we get there. Uh, out at the other end of the train. Ah! Oh, there you uh, go. So, he got away, I guess, unless. Ooh, maybe he's at the back of the car. Didn't he say that the uh, there was a backup engine? See, si, Signore, I think he said that there was a uh, a secondary engine in the uh, in in the end of the train. Let's go over there then. I just realized, okay. Does Giuseppe still have his mask on? Duh. Oh my God. What? Love this man. Jamie can't understand you. <laughs> Yo, true, Jamie yeah. can't understand when Giuseppe Oh my speaks. god, you're right! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, Jamie can't! Oh, I just realized fuck. that. Fuck, fuck, okay, oh, good no. to know. <laughs> fuck, oh, That's not good. <laughs> it's not. Uh, I'm going to look at Jamie because she seems distressed. Uh, is everything okay? Jamie just kind of stares at you. Zeppi, she's deaf. She can't read your lips. <laughs> what? What? She's dead? What? <laughs> uh, oh, my. Okay. I'm gonna. Giuseppe's gonna take off his mask. Uh, can. Oh! I got it! I, I know just the occasion for this. Uh, hold up. Uh, how do I. How do I say? Uh. I'm gonna sign language. Uh. Priviet, Minya, Zudvut. Uh, disobey. I used to know. Not the <laughs> Russian sign language. It's a double fail! Ah! Giuseppe! 
but Jerisha will stop here probably. Hold on a moment, party. folks, because <laughs> these two just entered into the dining car. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Oh no. no, I see him. I see him. Ah, uh, the man. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear a smug aura. <laughs> oh, why do I feel the aura of some asshole? Might just be you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Probably me. But it's twofold. Two assholes in one car. Okay, on but the, both of them. Uh, hey, uh, you there? This guy with like the yellow hair looks at you, Jerry's hero. You uh, happen to know what all those bumps were about? Uh, we're figuring that out now. Good, good. You do that. Just uh, didn't want to interrupt my journey. Okay. Shady. You know right. what? I think I actually might know what those bumps were, but I don't think you'll like the answer. Mm, please don't say it. If you say what I think you're going to say, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> Does he respond? No, the man looks like he went back to his food. <laughs> Alright, if he just goes back to his food, then fair enough. If he just goes back to his food, are you going to interrupt him? <laughs> you know what, Tally? Because you said that, yes I am now. Okay. Hey man, what? What? What's up? I heard you asking about the pumps in the train. Yeah. They were kind of oh, weird, He's right? gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Sure. <laughs> weird. Uh, but I th uh, after further investigation, I think I might have uh, an answer for you, actually. Oh, yeah? Well, I'd love to hear it. Uh, was... Those bumps... Uh-huh. I mean, were, um... It was me and my friends. Uh, they were, we were running a train on your mom. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> the man, uh, the man just, he sits there. My, my, my God. Never no. before in Riviera Large's life has he heard something so terrible. Riviera <laughs> <laughs> Large. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, by the way, you should probably call your mom. She's, she misses you. I'll do that. Thanks, sir. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you that one. You definitely surpassed my expectations. <laughs> I was just kind of sitting there, and I, it felt, honestly, I feel like I would have... I'd be guilty if I were to... You know, Poor man's chance. mom. Said Bumps. My mom, my my my, my went straight to mom's. I'm just. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was actually really so free. She, trying to clear, explain to them that she does not understand Russian sign language. Why don't you understand me? You're dead, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> Signore, she said me. You may not be aware, but the sign language that they practice in Russia is different from the kind that they practice in Italy or in Japan. What? I, I, I can understand lip reading, but I can't do sign language in this Japanese sign language. Oh, well, shit. Uh, my, uh, my apologies. Uh, well, this is kind of awkward. Let's, how about we continue? We leave now, yes. Why yes. don't you go and meet up with the rest of them? Yeah, I do not want to uh, be in this position any longer. Excuse me. <laughs> it's so good, Darby. Don't apologize for that. <laughs> uh, Jamie, you enter into this next like train car. No, go ahead, go ahead. Let me just say something. Uh, you enter into this nest train car, and you see this guy like. He's like he's like pulling his hair out. He, his eyes are bulging wide as he's looking down. I I fell for it twice. Jamie took a glance, decided to ignore him, and continued to move on. Uh, are you okay? Uh, no, sir. My, my mother friend. just got a train ran on her. <clears throat> what? 
Your mother got the train right on her! Jordan, Jordan's gonna grab Giuseppe by the shoulder and be like, Oh, Senor, I don't. That is the look of a man who just got his shit fucked. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh. Uh, I I hope she's okay. Uh, let's go, let's go. I don't. Let's go, come on. <laughs> Some, hold on, hold on, you know hold on, hold on, hold on. Probably has an now. Hold on. Okay, okay. Somewhere from underneath the table, there's just a. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 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 God. Wait, he said twice. It was the night ride or the first person run a train on his mom? No, he read. He said the run a train on his mom line, and then he fell for the second one where he said he should call her. <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, Jamie, you bump into these two. <laughs> what? Hi. Oh, looks like you guys caught up. Anything? Uh, not. I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> Jamie's just kind of looking around nervously. There's a lot of issues with communication. <laughs> Great, well, neither have we, so... But, I heard from the Night Rider that something in the caboose. You know, a railroad car with accommodations for the train crew typically attached to the end of the train. Oh my god. smile is getting more and more strained every single time you define a- Jamie's <laughs> <laughs> staring at Derek, very confused of, like, everything that he's saying but chooses not to say anything about it. Giuseppe, Jordan, I was telling uh, your friend here no, that something's wrong no. with the caboose. <clears throat> what? I... Something's wrong? Go check it out now, yeah? But yes, of course yeah. you should check it out. I mean, is it locked or anything? Or can we just waltz in? No, we were just waiting for you. Oh, okay, Let, let's go. Uh, wait, uh, is it locked? Uh, it's not locked. Adjective, fastened, or secured with a lock. Mm. Oh my god! I'm going to choke you. It's not locked, and it's <laughs> not the caboose either. You. This is just another train car. You can tell it's just another train car. <laughs> oh, it doesn't fit the description of being locked, so no. <laughs> I'm going to slap you, dude. I swear. If you do, I'd probably die, so I'd appreciate it if you actually did. God damn it, Derek. <laughs> I hate that nothing works on this guy. <laughs> he can read. Oh, man, these corridors are really small. It's <laughs> really a common They're also people. small. What? Jamie's kind of stretching out as she's going, uh, like, trying to get rid of adrenaline of seeing a dead body. <laughs> Derek, tell me, what else is small? Usually a caboose. You know, what? an accommodation. A <laughs> real <laughs> car accommodation for the train crew. God. Okay. Okay. I'm done. Okay. So your penis. Okay, bye. <laughs> and Jamie, I'm gonna oh just slow things down for a second here because as you start to come into the back of the car, you still hear the rain hitting the top of the car. You're just running. <laughs> oh, you're right. Fuck. You don't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna kill the old campaign, Casey. It's gonna murder me. Anyway. <laughs> well, you still feel it. You still feel it. It's okay. Uh, Cause... It's a little strange. Maybe it's the adrenaline, but... This car feels warmer. She kind of stretches out of it, uh, around, uh, she takes out her water bowl, takes a small sip before putting it back in her bag, and she continues forward. Over in here. And this is the door to the caboose. Quite, uh, quite hot, I would say. Hmm. Is the door, uh, locked? Oh, it's got like a doorknob. Doesn't seem to be locked. Hmm. Uh, she grabs the doorknob and tries to open the door. Jamie, recoil in pain and take six damage. That door ah. is blisteringly hot. Ah! She, she takes, she jumps back a bit. Ah! 
Ow! <laughs> oh, uh, here, uh, let me, uh, Giuseppe's going uh, to... She's, like, uh, waving her hands, jumping up and down a bit, just, uh, fuck, uh. Giuseppe's gonna punch uh. the, uh, the, the side, not the door, but, like, the, the thing holding the door. Actually, no, she's just gonna crack his knuckles really fucking hard. Uh, <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, that's quite the sting. Uh, okay. Uh, and then he's gonna make his, uh, arm and hands into steel and is going to start, uh, pushing on the door. Alright, I need a durability roll of your stand, please. You got it. A durability? Not that I don't believe oh, you can't push this door through. It's just that this is to withstand the heat. Right. All right. Well, if that's not the best. As you, yeah, it's not the best. As you push the door open, yeah, the metal on your hands heats up to a, such a degree that it's starting to affect your forearms, and you push the door open, but you still take seven damage. Oh. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, God. That's rough. That's real rough. That's rough. Yeah, and the next room feels like you could just feel a wave of heat emanating from the next door as well. Oh, god damn! Uh, I would okay. say either homeless people are letting, or having a party, uh, the engine you know is what? overheating. Uh, instead of, uh, here, yeah, how about I, I'm going to, uh, try and push the door. Instead of using my hands, I'm just gonna, like, like, uh, instead of me actually touching it, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, like, manipulate, because the, the, the door's made out of steel, right? Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna manipulate it to where it just opens up. Okay. Precision? Yeah. Yeah. Uh okay. You actually managed to do so almost effortlessly. And you see that the next room the lights are off in it. And you see a figure standing over another body on the floor, jagged almost like four foot long piece of twisted metal currently up and down stabbing it into their back with another gout of blood and then another stab and another gout of blood the figure's hand goes limp and they fall to the ground and then the person in shadow removes their weapon from the body and looks over at you guys <sighs> knew it Took you all long enough to get back here. <laughs> Weren't you in the front cars? Holy shit, what the fuck are you doing? Could have at least you waste, waited your time. You would have been the last ones to die. <laughs> Jimmy guessed, like, holding her mouth. Just Next time, cool. if you could maybe bump me up to a first on that spot, that'd be appreciated. Oh, I'll make an exception for you. <laughs> And everybody, let's do some initiative. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Initiative. I was telling you, fucking morons, that you shouldn't have come here, but you just barged right in on my meeting. How mean of you. The individual, they take a few steps out, and as they step towards you, Giuseppe, the light coming in from the door. Let's you see their face as they heft their jagged weapon over the shoulder. You ready to be next, bud? Come right at me, little boy. Have a moment. You just triggered a trade. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? This boy? Takes a step forward. You wanna say that again, but God damn it, just Oh wait, this is female. They hold up their hand. Definitely looks like a guy, but they grip that jagged uh, weapon and as they hold it back, preparing, their eyes go dark. Damn right it is, bitch. And they're going to try oh. and slash it, slash your throat with their weapon. Ah, uh, uh, shit! Uh, 
Fuck. Grab the try and grab the knife with his metal uh, with his steel hand. Okay. Okay. You manage to grab the blade. It that was a fucking hefty swing, but then you feel it. That blade. There's a little bit of heat coming off of it. Oh, that's kind of hot. Ah, <sighs> uh, uh, shit. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for uh, uh, mis gendering you, miss. Uh, the name's shit. Grace, bitch. Knew Grace. it, knew it, knew it, called it, called it, called it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's so nice to meet you, Grace. Uh, uh, Ignoring you, she darts her eyes over to this box, and suddenly, Joey Chiro, what the fuck? That box flies to the side and slams into you. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh, what do you do to react? <laughs> um, I'm going to try and fucking, like, dash towards Giuseppe. Or no, fall back, actually. Okay. Oh, don't leave me here alone! You also notice as you're falling back these... Syringes. That's odd. That we're on top of the box. Just fly off. Uh, give me that roll. Fuck. Oh no. Yeah, Joichiro, you, you're not fast enough at all. You weren't ready for this. Bam! You get slammed into the corner of this wall, and you take, uh, eight. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yikes. And let's just say, fire. um, this corner of the wall where the door was bursted open, still pretty hot. Your hands hit it. The ba your palms get burnt as you land against the door. Ooh. One at a time, ladies. Wait your turn. Uh, no, no, he can take my spot. Yes, that that is fine. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine back here. Huh? Are you? Are you? Uh, okay. I guess I'm with the little I'll, girl. I'll help. I'll provide moral support. Ah, oh, thank you so much, bud! You're you so great! You're so great! What's the matter, Russian? You seem a little scared. Oh, no, 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 I'm not scared! It's just I don't want to hurt you, you know? I, I would rather not do that! Please, just don't, don't hit me, please. Mm. I beg you, don't hit me. <laughs> Is conducting spin a uh, secondary action? Yep. Or main action? It can be either. Alright, secondary action. I'm going to conduct spin into my katana. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna summon my stand. Alright. <laughs> Bam. Um. Oh shit! <laughs> it's a big boy, not gonna lie. Is there anything small I can grab that's around? Just like debris or anything? Syringes that you saw as you fell back? <laughs> All right, you know, that works. <laughs> <laughs> that does work. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to carefully grab them. Yeah, this, um, oh, you recognize this, right? Yeah. That's that new drug that got released recently. Trance. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm into drugs. Yeah. yeah. Totally. It's been all over the news. It would be hard to not say it. I'm into the news, yeah! Okay, you know what? Fuck, okay, fuck it. Roll the brains roll, bitch. Maybe you don't know it. <laughs> Why do you not want to know what this is? <laughs> Drugs! Dergs. Yeah, you know what it is. Fuck you. <laughs> Mysterious substance. Potentially yeah. oh. harmful. Do not inject. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, one of them is actually empty. What the fuck? Kid, have you been doing drugs? No, who the hell are you to say, old man? I am. I'm not old. You I'm look pretty aged. fucking old right. from here. Did I break your back with that box? I don't like harming children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into harming children. But I hey, don't uh, like uh, it when I'm old. I, I like drugs and I like hurting children. Uh. There's something we can do here. You guys are fucking weirdos. <laughs> Soon to be dead weirdos, but definitely weirdos. That's the kid who doesn't even know how to take care of a dead body. That's the person who's literally killing people for fun. 
Now that's pretty weird. No, it's perfectly normal. It's fucking fun, bitch. Uh, I guess touche. <laughs> fun words coming from a corpse. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I'm going okay. to give the syringes to my stand, and I'm going to turn the empty one into a force point. Okay. Um... And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start fucking spinning my sword in that, in that thing, in the vortex. Okay. And uh, I think I'm gonna end it there, honestly. Do you want me to? Do you want to just like do a little narrative description of what that looks like to the others? So, the sword, the katana, is spinning on like on its blade, in, in kind of like a drill, and then it's also stuck in a very fast orbit and around the force point. So it's spinning on two separate axes. Looks very dangerous. Very cool, very dangerous, very Honestly, serene. Honestly, it is very dangerous. Actually, first I'm gonna set a secret action. I'm just gonna move back a little bit. You do your thing with them. I'm good. Uh, yes. And I'm going to uh, start uh, playing uh, my my little guitar. Uh, you read the uh, you read the trait, right? No. <laughs> Oh, oh, what? Please explain, though. I am giving you an extreme look of confusion <laughs> as the big six-foot-tall Russian man backs up from the child and starts playing a guitar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so... I have some traits. They're pretty fun. This one's called Soviet Pride. Uh, everyone within the fight gains a plus two the whole round whenever Giuseppe plays the Balakia. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's, that's, that's fun. And you just sacrifice yes. your turn for that? Okay, sure. <laughs> yes, because I can't do anything else. Why would? What am I gonna do? Slap the child? No. <laughs> so you're deciding to try and serenade me with music, <laughs> really? Yes, it's it's quite effective, eh? What type of a bitch are you? The bitch that doesn't want to slap a child, especially a female. That looks like it irks her when you say that. <laughs> what? Isn't this good for you? Why are you complaining? Shrugs. I don't know. You just look like a bitch, so I thought I'd point it out. Oh, uh, ouch. My feelings are hurt, but okay. Uh, that's gonna be my turn. Jamie. Here comes the fun part. <laughs> Jamie, who grabbed her water bottle, like, pour a little bit on her burnt hand, is gonna take a swig of water. Oh, she's gonna summon her stand. So, <laughs> summons and um, it <laughs> places tiles. So, if you want to set tiles, I'm in control of where they show up, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna give you a signification arrow uh, for the first one. That way. Huh? <laughs> wow, how convenient! Well, run away from the battle! <laughs> She's gonna jump on this tile, uh, <laughs> do a dance move, like, that's, like, just... Going this way! That would be 30 feet. Uh, oh god, is it going outside of the train? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> oh my god. No. no. <laughs> well, she's dashing the go. So. Oh, no. oh. First yeah, fight hurt. encounter. Dips. <laughs> yeah, just you guys see Jamie just dip? Ah! <laughs> I don't know how the oh, fuck I would go in a straight line through the wall, so she's going the best possible route. <laughs> She just busts the moon and then run. <laughs> <laughs> the stand has one point since that was technically a tile. The stand's gonna like go a bit up from the pathway, just kind of hanging out. Beautiful, nice health bar. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your turn, Casey? Uh, yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> she just cool. ran. All right, good to know. That's kind of what I expected, but good to know. We're, we're learning. This one's really weird. Uh, Derek. <laughs> All right, Derek. First things first. Uh, it's going to be mildly displeased by this whole situation and um, relatively annoyed. He is going to sort of reach into his pocket, uh, grab his Walkman, I suppose. I was, I was, it was maybe a futuristic Walkman, but Walkman nonetheless, right? A biphone. <laughs> A bye. No, no, no! I got it. Like, die phone. Because <laughs> it's the oh die God. Die phone. <laughs> of course. Yeah, uh, Derek got the off-brand version <laughs> called the die phone. <laughs> Purposely, just because of the name. Uh, pu yep. pu purchased at cold subject. It's real uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
He's going to take his earbuds, he's gonna plug him in, and he's gonna listen to some nice Fallout Boys, alright? <laughs> oh, after that. Don't you mean radiation dudes? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> lads. Yeah, he loves them. Um, and then he is going to, um, going to say uh, to Giuseppe, uh, Giuseppe, you haven't changed a bit. I have a problem with, you know, harming uh, children and girls, but I sure don't have a problem with that cap in this kid's ass. Duck. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Fuck! Uh, and Giuseppe's gonna hit the deck! Alright, Giuseppe hits the deck. Derek uses his ultimate move. Something that has only been brought out in the most dire circumstances. <laughs> Does it first attack? Derek summons his dead gun. He pulls out a gun and shoots the child <laughs> in the face. <laughs> uh, Derek has a trait where he gets a bonus if he's listening to emo music. However, he gets a he also has a flaw where he gets a minus if he's listening to happy music. Um, so, looking <laughs> radiation dudes right now. That's just a plus one. Uh, he has a plus two to using the absolver, so that's a plus five, correct? B6 plus five, yeah. Escalation. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Spaghetti. Me? I was gonna say you're a standless person, yeah? Um. Yeah. You're being affected by a stand that you don't understand, so you get a free resolve point. This is a new stand oh, effect yeah. that's affecting you. Reroll though. <laughs> oh, oh no! no. Uh oh, spaghetti. Oh, no. okay. Here's the thing. Here's okay. the thing. What's you up, got Derek? Resolve, Here's the thing. The I thing? did just get a resolve point. You did. Um, because um, basically, Derek, the gun in your hands suddenly turns blisteringly hot and flies out of your hands towards Grace. Hey, that's mine. She Dang. catches it in one hand. Nice toy you got here. <laughs> Be a shame if something happened to it. Whew. She blows out the tip that just fired as the bullet basically went haywire. Uh, you take 10 damage. All right. How much do you want to uh... reduce on that? <laughs> uh, yeah, Derek is uh, very, 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 very displeased at the moment. Thing. I'm thinking about monologuing. Burn my hand. How dare you? Next time, burn it harder so I feel more pain. The roll, that is one of your abilities, isn't it? You can heat up metallic objects. She kind of like clicks the gun, and as you see the glow with the red on it, she smiles. Well, at least someone's using their brain. You are correct? Oh, yeah. Jordan is going to run over, and uh, is Giuseppe still on the ground? Uh, I got back up by now. Okay. She is going to go and jump on your back again. Oh, uh, it, hello there. <laughs> Senora Giuseppe, trust me, I have an idea. She grabs your mask on the front of your face and pulls it up over your eyes. <laughs> what? Whilst I respect your... Uh, your values of not hurting women or children. It is a little more sexist, do you not think, to not hit a woman because you think that she cannot take it? What? No, that's not the case. I, I like what? you. You die last. Pumps it's his fist. Like... Yes. <laughs> We're not. Uh, th that's no. I'm not trying to be sexist. It's just I, I was taught not to hit girls. <laughs> women are. So women are all beautiful. Hunt the child. Hunt the child. No, I am not hunting the child! Giuseppe, it's considered self-defense. Giuseppe, don't worry. You're not going to hit the child. You're going to hit Joichiro. Here, go forward about 10 huh? feet and huh? jump in the air. What? Uh, oh. Okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Yip, yip. <laughs> yip, yip. <laughs> you see... He cannot hit women, but he also doesn't know if he's hitting a woman. <laughs> Jordan, why do I hit Goricio? It is because Joichiro's ability is based on people hitting him. You realize Trust I can just... Me, I know this. I can, it, it's, it's me still. 
Don't do it. Uh, Don't I'm, fall gonna cover, it. I'm gonna cover his ears. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like try and spew. No, don't hit me. No, it's going to hurt. You can't be fucking serious. She holds up her hands. <laughs> oh, no. And she's gonna make Giuseppe attack. <laughs> uh, okay, Jordan, I trust you. <laughs> no, no, why are you breaking me? <laughs> so scary. Go for it, dude. I'm sorry, Caricho. <laughs> You goddamn oaf, it's still me! <laughs> I still have metal fists, so that applies. Oh, you right? still have metal fists? Okay. And yeah, I, I never took them away. Alright, sounds good. Uh, you just activated villainous action. <laughs> oh! Well, she. <laughs> the villainous action is called With your holy armor, the steel in your hand, Fly Angel of Bloody Revenge. Wow! If wow. Giuseppe turns his hands into metal and punches Grace. <laughs> Oh my nice. god! Nice. Giuseppe, you will feel a sensation as Grace jumps back. You, you, uh, 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 da, da, da. Jordan, you hear the scuffle as she slides along the ground, and BAM! Giuseppe, both of your hands slam together. No! Oh, shit! Uh, my hands are. Is it like magnetic? Your hands are just stuck together. They're stuck together. Can you roll their ability? Uh, yes I can. <laughs> but as she jumps back, uh, you still did, like, nick. Like, 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 y you still managed to hit her a little bit before this happens. She takes three damage. I, uh, I think that roll was a bit odd because, uh, it didn't minus oh, the, it didn't. the lowest one. You're right. Oh, 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 but I also, oh, wait, I'm not playing the guitar anymore. Never that mind. makes it an escalation. <laughs> Uh -oh. uh, the tectonic slamming of your hands together causes rivulets of pain to run throughout your whole body. You take six. Ooh. Don't get touchy. Lead him astray one more time, little Missy, and he's going to be feeling pain. What? Jordan! What, what were you doing? Uh, Joichiro moved out of the way, and she was just right there. I had no idea. Oh, she you fucking me. moron! She's using you. <laughs> I'm not fond of pain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I've been telling you. Why would we both lie to you, Giuseppe? <clears throat> I I but don't you. know. I just met you, so why? You're you're hurting my friend by using what metal? And there is absolutely no way this is actually happening in front of me. <laughs> it seems like your ability. It stems from magnetism, does it not? Yeah. Where the hell did you read so many goddamn books? You're correct. <laughs> Source of information. <laughs> Called it! Uh, she's going to look over at Joichiro and say, Signore Joichiro, uh, can you come over here for a second? Uh, oh, oh, I don't know what you're trying to do, but okay. Here, uh, you're back. You got burnt. Here, turn around. So on the ring that Jordan has, there's actually like a little sort of like mechanism. If any of you have seen Attack on Titan, it's the same <laughs> mechanism that Annie has on her ring. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just and a small so, little prick. It's a small little prick. Exactly, exactly. So she takes this, it sort of activates, right? And she is going to basically bring her finger down and scratch her palm open. And then she's going to basically put her hand on the back of your neck and let the blood trickle down uh, your back. <laughs> What's this cold liquid? Do not worry. You're going to feel better soon. This is very suspicious. And she's going to take one point of damage to heal a Joichiro for two. And that's her stand action. Okay, cool. And that's the end of uh, her turn. Amazing. You notice her, um, Derek. Oh, this, 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 this rubs you the wrong way. This makes you a little annoyed. She takes your gun and basically sticks it to the side of that wicked jagged knife. And then it just stays there. Mm. All right. You people are weirder than I fucking gave you credit for. She jumps backwards over to this window, slams it with the side of the jagged thing and your pistol. 
breaking it open. And then aims the weapon at you, uh, Giuseppe. Seems like it's getting a little bit crowded in here. <laughs> you people aren't that scared, are you? Or am I wrong? She points at I'm you, Giuseppe. pretty much straight chilling. I'm a little spooked, I yeah. guess, uh, but... I'm a little we'll frightened, but the fact that you can kill so easily and not feel remorse, but... I know that my friends and I will be able to take you. Hmm. As she's talking to you, you hear a, like, rattling behind you, but she distracts you long enough as the, uh, escape ladder on the side of the train detaches and flies at the back of your heads towards her. So that would be oh. Jordan and Giuseppe and Joichiro. It is flying right through you guys towards her. Uh, what, what, what metal is it made out of? What metal is it made out of? Um, yeah. ladder material. Hmm. Ladder. Some iron, well, it, some iron, uh, iron. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, since steel is comprised of iron, uh, I'm going to, uh, try and make the ladder, uh, move to the, uh, I guess the left. Uh, I'm going to try and push it over or have it move that way instead. Okay. The ladder like moves to the side. Uh, Grace holding up her weapon looks over at the actual hell. I, I, no, ladder moves back to the other side. Stop that. Who the fuck is doing that? Or am I just <laughs> losing it? And as you see it move back and forth, Giuseppe, you notice that ladder's starting to get red hot. But you manage oh. to hold it back before it beans to each row. It's just kind of stuck there. Okay, I'm just going to be using all of my mental force. DON'T YOU FUCKING MOVE! Oh, it's you, the fucking Russian. God damn it, I knew it. DON'T HIT ME, LITTLE GIRL, PLEASE! <laughs> what? You don't want me to hit you? Too bad, bitch. She raises the gun at you and shoots you. <laughs> Where does she shoot me? Uh... Body? I guess? How are you facing I mean, her? I guess, I guess, would you say she shot me in the stomach? Probably. Okay. Secret action, bitch! <laughs> nice. Oh, so, if the girl, little girl hits me after I instructed her not to hit me, for in the stomach, I will have metal appear from the roof and basically disarm whatever's hitting me. Fucking incredible. Ah, uh, 3d6 plus brains. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. He just, he just caught a bullet with his belly button. <laughs> Pretty much. God damn right. You are goddamn right. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something real funny. Uh, she yeah. rolled max, like oh. the max she could possibly roll, but you still beat her. As metal collapses yeah. from the train above, Ugh. basically pinning the weapon to the ground and causing her to be disarmed. At the same time, the cuts from the metal from the roof deal a total of one damage to her. <laughs> We're getting there. She's just still sitting there, right? Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna fling my 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 sword at her from right. I believe I placed the force point on one of the syringes, so it should be unobstructed. Seems like it. Okay. Fucking spin damp well. Yep. That's right. Spin attack, hold on. Actually, before I toss it, can I charge a second level of spin into it? Yes you can. Twelve. Damn. So you notice something strange, Joy Tiro. As this blade fires at her, she takes a weird breath and metal from the ground whoom, flies up all around her. But something's weird. There is an energy arcing between it. This is a spin Haman interaction. <laughs> oh shit. No. 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 Oh. Oh. These automatically become escalations. So this is already an escalation. Oh, Plus, depending on who wins, another effect will occur. <laughs> so you rolled a 12 or a 13? 12. Oh, yeah. This is bad. <laughs> so, Jiro, you watch as the sword flies towards the Haman, gets impacted by it, and the Haman just holds it there for a moment, but then there's a 
There's a shattering spark as the sword somehow gains momentum out of nowhere, flies oh, no. through her chest, creating a massive hole, dealing <laughs> 10 damage. <laughs> oh, 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 holy shit! That's what Holy. Oh, she like holds a hand over. What the hell was that, old man? Got him. <laughs> Not Talon. <laughs> Not Talon. I don't know either. Uh, looks like you're not getting that sword back. Jesus Christ. It definitely flew out the window. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll have to retrieve that later. It's a family heirloom. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> she was next to an open window. You asked for that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if spin wins, it basically makes the spin effect amplified to the point at which it can't be stopped by anything. Not even metal Haman barrier, not even a child's body. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop the power of sword! Out from behind Giuseppe, because I can't see shit. He big. It's too big. He big and I small. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, so, um, he's going to try and, uh, like, break his arms so they're no- they're no longer, uh, magnetized. Oh, break his arms! Dear lord. <laughs> Just gotta nonchalantly snap my arms Can I get head. a bravery roll to break your own arms? Oh, I'm not actually breaking my arms, I'm breaking the fucking. uh, the magnet. Oh, yeah, the, the magnetism effect. between them. Okay, that'll be a roll against oh, her. My- my bed. Uh, I'm gonna break my arm. Break my arm. <laughs> <laughs> break my arm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. You try, you strain, no man, your hands are fucking glued together tighter than you've ever known in your life, and they're getting hotter. You take two damage. Oh, no. Ah, okay. Uh, fuck. Oh! I got it! Uh, I'm going to, uh, use my... my... stand to, uh, cause a metal barrier to go in front of the, the window so she can't escape. Ooh! Brilliant! I don't think nice. you need to roll for that, that just happens. Fuck yeah, boy! Um... Boy. <laughs> but what you don't realize, Mr. Russian Man, is uh, you're not in here with me, I'm in here with you. Oh Wait, God. don't you... Wait, the one didn't you mean to say that backwards? Fuck. Because that didn't like that... She holds her hand for the own fuck! Ah, pretend I'm cool or something, goddammit! That act with my secret action. <laughs> no, you can't be serious. No, no, no. Tally no, makes a mistake, God. and we roll with it. Oh, I, I might legitimately set that secret action <laughs> now, <laughs> fuck but... Off, fuck off! Do it, please. Nothing oh, will- no. nothing will trump oh. Duncan's- if Tally stutters. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, bastard. Anyway. Uh, I am... Okay. Oh, don't worry about it, though. You tried your best, and that is what matters. You sounded cool. I'm starting to hate you more. Yeah, well, your best suck at... Jamie, um, yeah, you come into this room. Oh, yeah, that's an arrow on top of that TV. Oh, it's pointing outside. What the fuck? <laughs> Where is that arrow pointing to? Uh, slightly up and outside. These Get on the places room. of the tiles have to be specifically physically reachable, right? Yep. Oh boy, uh, <laughs> Jamie's gonna hop on the tile, do the move, and look out the window. Where the fuck is the next one? Um, if your best ass had to be, uh, right here on the roof. <laughs> oh god. Well, uh, Jamie's crashing through that window then. Oh god, the fucking arrow. <laughs> Roll bronze to go through the window. Uh, she <laughs> grabs onto the side, uh, and, like, Climbs up. Oh god, she climbs up the best she can up to the thing. You did this to yourself, Number Casey. Three, That's all Lord I'm gonna Jesus, say. the stand. <laughs> I know I did. She, <laughs> she gets up there. She, she's like, God, this shit, and uh, fucking grabs her water bottle, takes another sip, puts it back, and it's just like, God damn it, and uh, continues running. Uh, that would be, I guess, like this is would be about. Yeah, like, you have to jump between cars here. Yeah, god, she's gonna jump between cars! <laughs> Alright. Oh god, what do I roll? You just jump between cars. I don't I don't see any reason why oh, you okay, couldn't cool. make it with your level of cool. athletics. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, Derek cool. is right below I... you. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> see, Derek is fucking going. Oh, okay, so that's... Yeah, she would be there. <laughs> okay. Three points for this day. Alright. Um, Derek. 
that there's some kind of mystical art shit going on here, all right? In Derek's mind. Oh my god. You really want to get up in there and deal with that right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like, it's probably on his top five list of things he does not want to do right next to, like, going to church. Like, actual church. <laughs> so, he's going to pull an ultimate move out, all right? His second ultimate move. His second ultimate move. It's even more ultimate than his old ultimate move, which was not ultimate at all. After looting his gun uh, and seeing the mayhem that's going on, he uh, looks at this kid and says, Oh, you shouldn't take things that aren't yours. And he puts a hand in his jacket and continues and saying, As you never know if they have another one. It doesn't really make any sense. And he pulls out his second gun! Let's go! <laughs> and he... Second here's gun. the thing though, Tally, you'll probably know because this is a six-shot revolver, oh. you see. Right. So, uh -oh. he's going to pull out this gun. <laughs> of course I remember that. now. Face and pull the trigger. God. I'm gonna roll a 1d6 to see. <laughs> All right, if, it, if it's a one, then it fires. Oh my god. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh! Yay! Yay! What? Dude, yes! Oh my god. <laughs> no way to do this. What? All right, describe what happens, Doug. Derek fires the gun with a look of surprise on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise and disappointment. Grace um holds her hand out, uh, and you notice metal from the room just come and coalesce boom, 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 into her hand, forming a long, kind of wavy sword. And she mutters something. Is anyone paying attention? Sure, I am. Very much. Very so. much. So. Very much paying attention. I need brains rolls from everyone. Cause she mutters this while a lot of so while a lot of sound is going off. Okay, Derek, uh, you'll hear it then. <laughs> you hear her just go, weirdest dragon I've ever seen. What? <laughs> yeah, she's gonna try and cut the bullet. <laughs> oh, God damn. What? Oh, she's still fucking high. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, there was a seven to attack her. You don't know how, but she cut the fucking bullet! Nice. You don't get nice. any bonuses to that revolver going off, really? Um, to this revolver going off, no, because I'm- <laughs> Oh my <laughs> lord, I feel like you should, but okay. I right, yeah, your bullet just gets- I mean, if you, wanna, if you wanna give me a bonus, you can, but- <laughs> Maybe later, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> What if it gets a plus one for every time it doesn't fire before then? Oh my god! <laughs> yes. Yes. And it stacks over episodes. Over sessions, yes. Do that, yes. 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 Okay, alright. I'm kind of considering making her more high. Um... <laughs> what the fuck would you make her more high? Your syringes is over really there, cool. right? They're, They're still full. full. One, one of them is full. the one that Joichiro... Are we going to make Grace overdose and die? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. oh lord. Oh my god. Oh. So she is a child. Her tolerance is low and she already has a full syringe in her bloodstream. What's another one? Oh my god. No. <laughs> overdose the child. <laughs> <laughs> On one hand, I want to overdose the child. <laughs> Other hand, they uh, know martial arts. Cool. Going to take the 15 feet to move over here. He's going to grab a syringe, a full <laughs> syringe. Okay. It's 20 feet. All right. Uh -huh. And he's going to take another five feet of movement. And he's going to um hand the syringe over to Jerichiro. You know, I'm pretty sure enough of this will probably either kill her or knock her out. Either way, we win. I'll try. I've never had this on my resume before. Oh my lord. <laughs> Overdosing. Then after that, he's going to he's going to um 
Spend a secondary action to dash back out and get out of the car. <laughs> there goes uh, the bitch. Goes the bitch. Jordan! I kind of want to monologue, but... Because I feel like KC was on the nose. Unopposed? If you unopposed, you have to get the power perfect. I have to get it perfect, yeah, exactly. And if you fail, they'll so. gain a bizarre point. Yeah, exactly. your bet is just attacker, get a free one. I do know that when metal gets hot enough, it loses its magnetization. So it might be a drawback of it, of like, um, the more, whenever she magnetizes something, it heats up, and once it gets to a certain point, it isn't magnetized anymore, so she has to wait for it to cool down to be able to use it again. Hmm. Ooh, that's, that's, that's a fair point. I like that. For, man, should she go and just punch Grace? I mean, fuck. Hi, Key. <laughs> Hi, Key. Hey, Are hey, make Grace face you. No, there is no fucking shot Jordan's gonna give her drugs. <laughs> Um, what what is this thing right here next to me? Like um, a little a little a little carrying cart for like crates, like a little dolly. A little dolly like carrying cart. Mm -hmm. Okay. She is going to as she got off of Giuseppe, she's gonna walk over behind it, grab it, fucking turn it towards Grace, and then what she's going to do is she's gonna put herself in between it and this crate. And then she's going to basically put her back up against the crate and then launch this dolly cart at her <laughs> using the force of her legs. All right. Because you know she's got mad thighs. Anyways. Um, that would probably be a bronze roll plus uh, environmental. I'll give you plus two for trolley. That's pretty fun. Sounds good. She smirks for a second watching you do that. You're really not that quick on the up tag, are ya? As the trolley goes forward super fast, slows down, slows down, wait, fuck, it's coming back! It comes flying right back at you, Jordan! <laughs> and it slams into you, sandwiching you between you and this box. And, yeah, it's certainly pretty hot. You take two damage. She... Alright, cool, 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 cool. She basically is back at the point where like she's sandwiched between it but she's like using her legs in order to keep it like not killing her <laughs> yeah it's got a lot of force yeah and she's like oh that's a very strong force but you see that was the whole idea all along i wanted to see how you would react if i did that to you and you did not disappoint you see as i am analyzing your ability more and more it seems much more clear that with your magnetic ability, you are using it to cause the excess amount of energy to cause the objects that you are magnifying to become exceedingly hot, no? Hmm. All you others should probably take a little bit out of her book. She's the smart one. Yeah, that's right, one of it. Oh, well, by that extension, Surely, by laws of magnetism, the hotter an object is going to get, the less magnetic it also becomes as well. Your ability cannot last forever, can it? <laughs> last damn long enough. <laughs> Let's hope so, for your sake. Grace looks at you, holding that large, wicked blade, and a smile comes on her face. You're not afraid anymore, are you? <laughs> Roll a bravery roll. Fuck. <laughs> All right, nothing <laughs> happens. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> She's going to say, "No, Grace, I am not scared of you. In fact, I am worried for you. You can get help. It's okay." Put your misplaced Please. worry somewhere else, bitch. I'm I fine just want on to my help own. You. Such a poor soul. Don't worry. I will try to make sure that we can get you the help that you deserve. She's basically going to like sort of like do a maneuver to where she's no longer being squished and like Very hop fair. out. Uh Jordan Giuseppe, Joichiro, bam, bam, bam! Around the train, pieces of metal start flying towards her as she grits her teeth and looks back at you. Jordan, you are really starting to tick me off, you know? I don't need your fucking help. I've never needed anyone's goddamn help. Not my dad, not my goddamn brother, not his goddamn friends! Fuck you! 
and oh, man. all around her, bam, 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 pieces of metal slam into her, and the room gets noticeably hotter. Oh, jeez! And she coats herself in a literal suit of armor. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my God. Hey, Derek, I don't know how I'm supposed to stab through that with a flimsy little syringe. God. Take a guess. You're not. She's going to slice at you with about a six foot long flambouche. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> God damn, alright, chill, girl. Fuck. Look at chill pill. Chill out. I think she's had Fuck. enough pills. Uh, yeah, Joichiro, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't think I can do anything but dodge. Okay, good luck, man. Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, you could use your stance to redirect the attack towards her. This is a six-foot-long flamberge. <laughs> yep. Oh Ooh, God. put put a point on the tip of the sword as you uh, try to dodge it. That'd be kind of cool. Tally, can I do that? Sure. That sounds fun. All right. I'm gonna do it. All right. Joy Chiro, yes, let's go, boy. You're able to stop the blade and have it spin back away from you, but the moment it gets near you, the blade doesn't even touch you. Simply the heat coming off of it burns you for two. Damn. God damn. That's one hot ass. Guys, we kind of suck, low key. Thousand degree knife versus five foot six Japanese man. <laughs> what win? <laughs> what win, nut man? Man, go! <laughs> And yeah, her armor also seems to have flames coming off of it. Oh my god, <laughs> how are we supposed to touch this child? <sighs> hmm. Maybe if we talk to him, because honestly, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna win. <laughs> I don't. Oh my god. I want to talk to her, personally. <laughs> Shut up, Jordan. Uh, I am all for overdosing the child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Here, if also if you do monologue, uh, she only has one more thing left, so uh, filled with drop. Big hot? Question mark. <laughs> Big hot. Big hot. Big hot. <laughs> Bernie hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese man about to become sashimi. <laughs> <laughs> sashimi. Yeah, I like the food. I don't want to become it though. <laughs> Is there any weapon better than a fucking syringe? I don't know, do you have another katana? <laughs> I... <laughs> you ask it, no, uh, you I have like another Gary, weapon that's not on me! Alright, guess I'm using this, this, like a dagger! Oh no, oh are you God. going in with the syringe? <laughs> uh... <laughs> not until I can find an opening! Oh god, oh god okay. that's gonna explode uh, in your face! You can roll oh, I can just give you my one. gun! Hit him with the gun! <laughs> Boom! Take my gun! <laughs> Oh lord! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna use Giuseppe's TP-28 as a blood weapon. <laughs> oh my lord, okay! Yeah, take this, comrade! Uh, thanks! Uh, this'll- this'll help. A lot. This is a lot better than what I had previously. Alright, um, I'm gonna make a force point with this current syringe. And I'm going to push it into her. <laughs> Oh my god. So basically, the whole thing with when I push in, uh, like, one of these vortex points into somebody, uh -huh. it usually warps and and uh, destroys their, like, body around it. Okay. She's okay. already got a hole to her <laughs> chest, man. What's another one? <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, go for it, go for it. Please God. Yeah, you actually do. Uh, you put this force point into her and parts a bit to the metal. Wait, that armor's not very well put together. They just tear off and so does a little bit of her flesh. She takes two uh -huh. damage. Alrighty, now I am going to thrust the butt of this gun into her exposed skin. Jesus, fuck, okay! God. And all I have to respond is also bronze. Damn, okay! <laughs> The gun has like a knife on the front, right? That's what you're using? Or are you just like, BOOM! Trying to knock the wind just out of her? 
It's just with like the butt, isn't it? Yeah. The butt, yeah. The, yeah, there's the, no the knife. One of the gun is literally like a like a, a funnel. Yeah, okay. You knock the wind out of her and knock your back. She stumbles for a second. Takes two more damage. Okay. Alright, uh big brain time. So the metal around her is steel, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna use the iron in the steel to turn it into copper, which has a high thermal conductivity. Ooh. So because of that, the, the the metal is gonna get super hot to the point, hopefully, where her magnet ability just stops and all the metal falls off of her. Oh nice. Where roast her alive. Or Roll. roast her alive. Or roast her alive. Or... Roll power. <laughs> I'll barbecue. Let's go. Fuck. Okay. Oh, Yikers. Oh, oh, uh, uh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, the armor gets hot. Blisteringly hot, but it doesn't budge a bit. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck. Uh, she uh, tilts her head. What's the problem? You got something you wanted to ask me? As the fire licks around and goes like in and out of that one hole in the armor. Just have a monologue, monologue, monologue. I would also assume <laughs> that copper is. Image or something. I would assume that copper is physically weaker than what it was previously. It is copper now. Uh, I will give you that. <laughs> okay, little girl. Very impressive ability. Almost as impressive as mine. Yes. Uh. So. Uh, fuck. Your, your metal, it's... Hey, little girl, what gears? How are you not affected by the heat? Like, everything's so blistering hot, yet you're over here on face. That's a part of your stand. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> she holds up a hand with the fire raging around her looking she looks down the crown what's that sizzling sound a little bit of either it's blood or something else burning away inside of the iron suit now copper yeah you're goddamn right this ability as far as i can tell is fucking unstoppable <gasps> And it's so fun to mess around with. I'm gonna have to try so many things out. Specifically on you and all these other people here. Whoever the hell they may be. It can affect the magnetic field of any metal object. And cause it to become magnetized to any other metal object. Those projectiles, the more they magnetize, the hotter they become, eventually setting on fire. And that's the ability of my stand. Rhapsody of Fire. Oh my god. That's so cool! Oh my god. I'll get the fucking Zeppelin. That Holy makes sense. Shit. Now <laughs> that that has happened, we get into uh, a mechanic that I'm implementing called a bizarre drop. Oh god. Whenever the bizarre field drops, I can trigger an effect. So, Grace holds up her hand as she's saying this. Oh yeah. There's also one other thing I forgot to mention about my stand. As bits of metal all around the train start coming in, collecting in her hand, creating a ball of fiery metal. There's no limit on what size it can affect of a thing. As all the nuts and bolts of the train start to disconnect, supportive bars break as the entire train itself begins to heat up. Oh, fuck! Giuseppe, is that all? <laughs> oh, fuck! Uh, I'm just gonna niggurindayo the fuck out of here. <laughs> nah, bitch! That I'm good. <laughs> no, just let me, please! Uh, Jamie's turn. We're gonna go back on top of the train. <laughs> Yay! Now that's on fire! Yeah, uh, Jamie, well, you're definitely starting to notice that, oh yeah, this this is starting to heat up. Huh. <laughs> oh god. 
uh, <laughs> hop on this, <laughs> do, do move, get a point, and uh, fucking, uh, that would be 30 dash, uh, down. She's gonna crash through the window. Perfect! You all notice Jamie crashing through the window. Let's fucking go! <laughs> she crashes through at the same time as, uh, Stand has five points, so that means that she has A's? It's gonna, uh, punch. <laughs> it is grabbed, it's turn table, it is slamming Grace in the face with it. Okay. Oh yeah, and she has A power, so your stand comes in, she's gonna take out her massive six foot long flamberge and try and slice its head off. Oh god. Hell yeah, oh, hell yeah, for sure, oh, for sure. Fuck. That seems lust. Well, uh, <laughs> Escalation! Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> and Jamie dies. Oh, oh, no! Good at oh, knowing no! you! Jamie oh, dies! Oh, Jamie dies! Oh my god! Oh, he oh, dies. Oh, he oh, dies. Oh, it was oh, supposed oh. to be Derek! It was supposed Wait, to be Derek! 16 <laughs> damage! <That's laughs> <you. laughs> You're dead! You're dead! You're full dead! Hold on, dead. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's resolve it all that shit. Yeah, I'm fucking oh. resolving that. What the fuck? Holy shit. Yeah, how much damage are you actually taking? It would be yeah, one I'm damage if you spend three. I'm three then, the kid will only take one. Okay, you take one. Uh, BAM! Knocked back. Grace turns her head and looks back over at you. What was that you said? Try me, bitch. I'll show you how a girl with nothing to lose fights. With the stand user when their anthem is playing. <laughs> Derek! <laughs> that being said, I'm gonna do it! Oh no! no. <laughs> Aren't we all? Takes his gun, he holds another bullet in it, he aims, and he fires! Oh my god! We <sighs> think you're hot stuff, but. We're not. And fires, and the gun clicks as no, no bullets come out. <laughs> I will point out your gun is currently uh, right here underneath a bit of roof if you wanted to go for that. Alright, cool. I pick up my gun and try it again. Alright, it's actually cooled off at this point. <laughs> Can't block it. Oh my lord, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh no. Again. Nice, 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 nice. Again. <laughs> Never mind. No. You killed the child. What? Yeah, boy. You managed to find a weakness in the copper armor, Ap appropriated to you by Giuseppe. Yeah, there's a weakness right there, and you shoot her in the actual gut. Uh, she takes four. <clears throat> God damn, you can change types of metal. Man, it's almost like we have a similar stand type. Yes, that's very crazy. Oh yeah, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. There can only be one. Well, I mean, okay, that's cool, but I mean, you're gonna have to hit me, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna hit you. This would be like the engine control, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we're already moving really fast, Really right? fast, and the train car feels like it's falling apart gonna run train controls I mean here can't be too terribly difficult she's basically going to try to cause the train to ign to initiate all of the brakes okay give me a brain roll to figure out how to do that gotcha you figure out that this console can stop the train and there's a lot of levers to pull, and some of them are hot. <laughs> Would she know what lever she needs to pull? Probably, but it's one that's hot, and you don't want to touch that. She's gonna do it anyways. Okay. Give me a bronze roll. She's going to tell everybody on uh, in the cart, Everybody, brace for impact! And she's going to grab onto the lever. It's going to burn her real bad. She's gonna fucking... You're gonna see her, like, kind of seethe in pain. Hell yeah, you take two, but you grab the lever and... <laughs> Boom! That bump that everyone felt before. Oh, hey, maybe she was fucking with the controls. Everyone flies up a little bit. Can I get a bronze roll from everyone, please? To not go yeah. flying. Fuck. 
Yeah, I'm trying to get oh. her to go flying more I'm than anything. Roll, uh... Oh, oh fuck. Hey, hey, Dev. <laughs> Dev, roll 3d6 <laughs> for train. Gotcha. I'm gonna take this for, uh, everyone's <laughs> getting launched. <laughs> Jordan, God. you hold on to the lever a bunch. Unfortunately, Jamie, I think that means you lose the points, yeah? Fuck, yeah, that would that would make me lose everything. God oh, damn it. Oh, fuck, you literally just fucked us up more than <laughs> Oh, Joey Chiro flies into you with a syringe. Um, Derek flies and trips over the trolley. Grace herself falls on the sword. Derek just fully lets himself <laughs> just fly off. And just slides. The Giuseppe, you slam into the wall back here. Oh, okay. God. Uh, and then Jamie, yeah, you fall and are like on the edge of this box. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, fell off the path. Yeah. But Grace is on the ground. That just happened, and the train seems to be slowing down. Oh, hello, Joichiro. Oh, fancy meeting you here. God um, damn it! Grace is going to slowly get up. At this point, she sees one person. The fucker that stopped this train. Uh huh. Tee hee. <laughs> uh huh. You're the smart one, huh? Uh, no smarter than average. Let me ask you a question. What are your buttons made of? Oh, um. I think they had a sort of, uh, she's gonna, like, touch them at this point. Probably some sort of, uh... We're the smart one, yeah! <laughs> Man, that's a really fucking, that's a really good question. I don't know if they're actually gonna be, like, I'm gonna spend a POTS kind, point to say that they're made of metal. <laughs> Can I spend the POTS point to try to fight that? Sure, roll brains versus me. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. POTS POINT BATTLE! <laughs> fight yeah, here, me, dude! I'm gonna lose! <laughs> Chip tally! <laughs> yeah, they're plastic, oh. fuck! They're plastic. Oh, they're they are this nice lovely paint. plastic that my mother made for me. Oh. Well, I... <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> she stands here. Holds her arms to either side. Well, either way. I don't like them standing You tell here. me what happens when a normal human body is encased in an oven. Tell me that, smart oh. girl. Mamma mia. As the armor flies off of Grace and attaches around you. Oh no! Oh. Yikes. What are you what? doing? <gasps> Mamma mia, this is hot! Here, let me show you some love. And she's going to run at her and try to fucking like body slam her and she's gonna make a oh, resolve no! rush. Nice! Resolve rush, dude! Yeah, so that's gonna be an extra 3d6. You set? <laughs> Grace, in a moment of confusion. Wait, what? You're not supposed to. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. You fucking tackle her to the ground. Hell yeah. But it must be the adrenaline or something, but you don't feel the pain yet. <laughs> nope, nope. Her resolve is unfucking breakable, <laughs> bitch. Get off of me! You got. Ah! Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. And she's going to fucking hold her in place and basically allow this to create an opening for anybody else. Guess whose turn it is? <laughs> Syringe man! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh no! This dude is on the syringe no. today. Oh no! <laughs> this is somehow be... worse. Oh <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna inject the oh drugs. Oh, yeah. Um, you're not gonna have to roll anything, but I am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because I know how this works. Alright. <clears throat> Brains roll. Bronze roll. Bravery roll. Uh, Fuck! <laughs> yikes. No. Um, 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 let me- I need to check some rolls real quick. Give me a second. <laughs> oh no, is she about to overdose? We'll see. Uh-oh, uh-oh, big, big, uh-oh. <laughs> Brains roll versus universe. Fails it! Ron's roll nice. versus universe! No, no. Fails, Fails it! it. Brains roll it. versus universe! Succeeds! 
Christ. Okay, Joey Churro, this is about to get fucked. <laughs> oh, no. That's all I'm gonna say. Cause you notice. Oh. Hey, a big ass grin across my face. Yeah, oh. George. Basically, all of the metal on your back kind of explodes off as you input this syringe to her. I'm gonna put this one on. You input the syringe into her arm, and something weird begins to happen. It's almost as if the flesh around her arm melts. Oh, mamma mia. Just sloths off. She kind of looks at it. What the hell did you d d d do to me, old man? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Left me with no weapon. So I... Sure. Still kill you then. I'll kill you all. Her arm, though, the flesh around it warps and twists in weird ways. And you can see exposed bone. Oh no. So scary. I wanted to <sighs> help her. Well, the old man stabbed her with drugs. Just that be. No. What, what the fuck are you doing? Garichiro, what, what did you do? Um, well, you see, I injected this mysterious substance that she apparently had already taken into her arm. Uh, Grace at this Whoa. point seems to be twitching violently. I'm gonna end initiative. Oh no. What? Seems oh, that no. Oh, seems no, that no, 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 followed no. orders. I'm gonna go to, uh, to Grace. Uh, uh, shit, um, the, uh, okay, uh, okay, okay, Jordan, okay. at this up. point, uh, she can see the wound where it was, uh, fucking stabbed in, right? Yeah. Well, All right. you would have been able to if the skin didn't sloth off around it. That's fine. So she is going to, well, she's gonna, she's going to reach into her back pocket. I'm gonna plot's point that she has a razor. Okay. And she's going to be, Per favore, mon dio. Per favore. And then she's going to take the razor, put her wrist in the air, and slice her arm downward. And oh, Jesus. let the blood trickle all over her. And I say trickle, it's more like the gut blood is gushing <laughs> all over her flesh. Wow, that the is a waste. Um, why are you doing that? Yeah, why? What the fuck? You're just adding to the problem! <laughs> what? I'm not sure if this is hot or really gross. And she is going to straight up cut open her vein for okay. six damage. Okay. What? Are you trying to heal and back the damage that was done? She's going to heal back the damage that's done and basically try to use la cure in order to to try to reverse the effect and try to try to have it not fuck her up like this. Okay, I'm gonna need a precision roll versus the universe. Gotcha. Oh, God. my precision's a D. This is bad. That's what you need to beat. Two D six, keep one. You have you have to get a six. All right. I believe in you. Ah, <laughs> no. the child. Grace is going to take a shaky breath, attempt to. Oh no, her Haman has probably failed at this point, but she has full resolve. She is going to resolve Rush against the universe to attempt to give you another roll. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. So. Oh, all right. So I just have to do it again? You just gotta do it again. You gotta beat a five. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, let's go! Dude, yeah! Oh, oh fuck. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's God. go, let's go! All right, as this is happening, all right, as this is happening, you're all like looking in confusion at Jordan, like, what the fuck? Why are you slicing yourself? Why are you fucking doing this? And she, as she's looking down, she starts seeing the effect take, and she knows that it's working. And she says, ah, Bella, mi amiques. Testimone, la cura, 
in Italian, my friends, witness the cure. Grace promptly goes unconscious, and whatever the fuck was dissolving her arm stops. Ah. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. You know? What the, the fuck? The gray car kind of looks weird now that I've seen it all heated up. Yeah. Derek uh, flips open his phone and calls 911. Yeah. Perfect. Um, they respond. <laughs> Good. I'd hope so. You get a text at this point from you know who saying, What the hell is going on over there? Um, I text back, I met up with some old friends. <laughs> <laughs> the text returns with, I'm on the way. <laughs> oh my god. Um,. I will just text back, uh, we're not really going anywhere, so... <sighs> Jamie goes over the Jordan, Jordan's fucking bleeding out, <laughs> like... Oh. Actually, yes. <laughs> it's like, Lord Jesus. Oh, here, let me, uh, get that for you. Uh, and Giuseppe's gonna put a, like, a metal bandage around her, just what? so it stops. Just so it stops the I blood can, from bleeding. I can, do you one I can try and spin I can, heal Jordan. I can, I can do you one better. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa! That exploding dice! Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Basically, as simultaneously, we minimum six. and maximum. Another, exploding Another dice. one, let's plus go! A D6. Another 26 plus a D6! <laughs> Casey, how does Come this on, always happen? 24! <laughs> Damn, alright, Jordan's straight chilling. Jordan's cool, just, huh? is better, Jordan's glowing, what the fuck? Jordan is better than she was. <laughs> Mama, Mia, what did you, you do better? to me? You, my wounds, they are closed. Yeah? You, you must show me that amazing thing you did. Well, I don't really understand it much myself. Probably give you a few pointers. I've heard a little bit about it. It's some kind of voodoo, hooju, uh, martial arts type thing about breathing. Yeah, I learned a bit of it in my travels from an old friend. That is amazing. Thank you. I am indebted to you. Oh, no need to worry about it. Then watch you bleeding out on the floor like, well... <laughs> like these other two men. Poor, poor, poor souls. Yeah, Jordan is just going to kind of... She's obviously going to get off of uh, Grace, mm -hmm. and she's going to, like, uh, go and pick up Grace. I imagine Grace isn't that heavy. She's really right? light. She's, yeah, she's malnourished. Super. Okay, cool. She's going to pick her up and uh, uh, just say, like, I'm going to go and take her back to the cabin and lay lay her down. Wait right. for the emergency services to get here. And what you see, Jordan, as you say that outside, the city starts to come into view as the train pulls in to Electros. Huh. We're here. Well, it's great to be back home. Uh, the land of opportunity. Well, what opportunity is there for, well, us? I'm going to go and lay her down. Opportunity. Good idea. Now, is there a circumstance that makes it possible to do something? A chance for employment and promotion? I guess we're just going to leave the dead bodies. All right, fair enough. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to close let's, their eyes. Let's pick them up. Oh yeah. nope no no you no do not Actually, pick them up yeah, no, nope not there. at all. What why why not? Because um, then it crime looks scene. Well. Yes crime scene. Oh shit actually yes. the kid is gonna pay for their crimes. That would happen. be a bad idea. Well it doesn't help that all of our DNA is everywhere all over this place. But... Well yes but also, I mean we brought in the murderers so we should get some. Or so, you know, we say, but either way, I'm going to start sketching this out and taking down notes, okay, just in case. Uh, 
you you do that uh, do you want me to stay here or if you want it's just gonna be me sitting here drawing okay well I'll I'll write in my journal then in the corner do you have a luggage cart this is the luggage cart <laughs> can I grab my luggage yeah it's got a little blood on it and it's a little burned but yeah you know what? That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat something. Uh, very fair. Jordan? Set Grace down in this bed. Mm -hmm. Jordan is just sort of laying, uh, not laying, sort of like sitting at the foot of the bed. Uh, just sort of like next to her not really at the foot actually she's laying more like on the side sitting on the side of it and sort of it's just like uh like moving her hair out of her face and she's like lightly speaking to her in italian <laughs> just trying to make sure that she's okay so nice she knows that she's just a tortured soul a victim of drug abuse and she feels for these people and, and she just wants to help her she might even be lightly singing to her in Italian, probably. That's so wholesome. <laughs> well, welcome to Jordan. Welcome yeah, to Jordan. that's what she's doing. <laughs> um, question: Where is this over? Is this like like legitimately just the back, or is there a little door that leads to the? Um, oh yeah, outside? that's the back, outside of the the train here. Uh, ominous lighting goes away as the lights come back on. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no ominous lighting. Um, Derek, after uh, taking sketches and writing everything down, uh, goes over here to get some fresh air and uh, tells Giuseppe, All right, I'll be right back. Uh, okay, uh, don't do anything stupid. <sighs> you know I'm way too smart to do something stupid. Mm, of course you are. Uh, Derek goes into this little place. He, um, he, uh, sits down on the ground. And, uh, what time is it right now, uh, Tally? Late at night, it's about 11 p.m. Um, partially, uh, wounded, which is not how you're supposed to do this. Um, but he begins to, uh, perform his prayers, uh, in the back. I can't go through it all right here because it's actually a very long process. He does his Islamic prayers, and uh, afterwards, sitting there, he reaches into his jacket. He pulls out the six-shot revolver that he was using earlier. There's still one bullet in it. And he holds this revolver in his hands, cocks it back, sticks the barrel in his mouth, and pulls the trigger. I'm now going to roll to see what happens. Do you fucking wow. to go for it? Wow. Okay. As the click sounds, Derek is disappointed. And with that, he puts the gun back into his jacket and he pulls into, goes into another pocket of his where he takes out his very favorite magic dust as he puts a little on his hand and then sniffs it up and he mutters to himself gotta give props to him makes good shit and gets back up and walks back into the room with Giuseppe what a fucking scene, oh my god. <laughs> Alright. De Derek's daily process? Oh, hey, you're back! How was the, uh, outside? It's fine, I just... I just pray a little bit. Oh, oh, yes! I didn't realize you were still, uh, Islamic. Yeah, it's been that way since I was a kid, so... Ah, uh, I figured so. Uh, 
Usually yeah. kids grow out of that stuff, but hey, it's good for you. You need to believe in something, I guess. I guess you could say that. Hey, I mean, you say most people grow out of it, but what I just did back there, that's just a daily old routine, so you get used to it. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, well, I'm happy for you. Uh, yeah. We should be getting with the, uh, with the others. I wouldn't want to continue smelling the rotten corpse here. Yeah. It'd be real bad if you smelled a rotten corpse. Yeah, couldn't you, like, die from that? It's like a poison or something. Yeah, there's, uh... You, you can't die from the smell of it, but there are, you know, things released from their bodies. That, uh, right, right. Probably aren't the best to inhale. Terrible as shit. Ah. All right, well, come on, my friend. Let's get back with the others. You disembark the train, and you are immediately met with something you might not have been prepared for. Uh -oh. As you step out, an entire squadron of police officers awaits you on the loading platform. You hear the slight oh. call of a siren in the distance. You look around you. The train car is 100% surrounded. Derek is already on his knees with his hands behind his head. <laughs> Derek, stop that. We're not guilty of anything. Well, we don't yeah, I don't think that matters much, Giuseppe. This is, you gotta deal with police. And I'm gonna put my hands up in the air. Uh, I'm going to do the same and I'm gonna walk out. You notice uh, one of them step to the side uh, and this door opens up. And you see an individual step out. One that one of you recognizes very well. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. Steps up to the platform. Hey there. Derek, get your ass out of here and stop playing dead. The rest of you? No, just... Well, you're under arrest. What a warm welcome to this city. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's cool. Hell yeah. It's, it's an interesting thing. It's an interesting thing. Here's the thing. Derek, stop. Yeah. That's the first session of On the Road again. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Session one, we're already criminals. Session one, Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm not a criminal. I'm straight chilling. Fuck yo. You're the best of friends. I'm that was Are you the best of right. friends? Are you really? Y'all want to do some art? Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. Holy yes. shit. We have an art channel. We have an artwork help yes. channel. Yeah, we have an art we channel. Have what? We have an art channel. Fool. <laughs> uh, who came channel. up first? Drip Chiro. Oh, oh, we got to show the drip. Yeah, drip Chiro. That's very important. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's how he actually comes out of thrift stores. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's how he uh, works out. Mackenzie, dude! <laughs> you gotta see this shit. Oh my, oh my god. god, that's a nun with a gun. Yes. Damn! Yes. You know, I'm to notice there's a yes. lot of there's a lot of guns in this <laughs> room. Right it's a nun with a gun. So not enough guns. guns. Oh, not, guns. not enough guns. Not enough guns. <laughs> that's an actual sniper rifle. Yeah. Why does the nun have a sniper rifle? Yes! What is the point of it? What is this purpose? <laughs> Yes. It occurs to me that some of you aren't familiar with Star it's so Road, funny. which makes it even better. Uh, Jordan Giovanni, who I fucking love! Oh, my god, she's so good. Look at Jordan is such a positive force. So good. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Yeah, uh, I'll post Jamie for Kat. They aren't here, but... 
Cat did Jamie. Yeah. yeah. Jamie and Lost in the Rhythm. Yeah. This dancing girl are going on an adventure, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're going. Going places. We're going somewhere that's not here and also not anywhere relevant in the battle. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Gone for half the battle, comes back, one shots the boss. <laughs> Pretty much, no, except this time shot. you got one shot. I, I got one shot. One yeah, shot. This time Jamie got one shot. Yeah. <laughs> yep. God. And then immediately following was Jirichiro's scene. So, Rohan, do you want to pause Jirichiro? Uh, I think I have. Oh, oh, so good. God, yeah. so, oh you should have all the good back cool background. Oh, I don't oh, have that yeah. one. Nice! Yeah. There's the cool background. I love this shit. Oh, so cool. Uh, and I believe immediately after was, uh, the individual that went to meet with, uh, with, uh, with him. <coughs> there she is. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. She's really pretty. <laughs> she is really pretty. I like that. Oh, yeah? She's really pretty with no face and... Yeah. Why is the skirt specifically outlining her butt? What? Oh, that's a little sash. I don't sash. think that's a butt. That's a sash. That's, that's a sash. That's not a butt. Fool. Fool. <laughs> I am a fool. Absolute buffoon. Fool. <laughs> that is a, a sash. We got a real smart one over here, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really like the the like the uh, the top garment, like the veil and the hat. And the yeah, robe. that veil was a bitch to make. <laughs> oh, I think so. She's really cool. Um, next player character. I too love one with no faces. Which is I really do like how every single session this. we have a one in six chance that Derek is just gonna fucking kill this him. Guy? <laughs> yep. Can I have a moment for this guy? <laughs> Holy, Holy shit! Yeah. Look at him! Oh, look at him! The beef on the I love him so he's much! A giant boy, dude! He's he looks like a bear! Cool. Here's the alternate. Do you want me to post the- Oh, you posted the alternate, yes? Oh my god. <laughs> he- He looks like a bear. He has a like bear. He's Giuseppe. Left pack Giuseppe also oh, had a shirtless. Oh, I love that. It. It. It's the rule of Giuseppe's. Yep. Uh, and just, you went oh, to go talk to, so cool. uh, Mercy. Yeah, Mercy! Ooh. Look at her! Ah! Oh, I love Mercy! Oh, Wait a minute, that's oh, not Mercy from that. Overwatch? I'm already- oh, God, shut the fuck up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love her design. She looks so, so good. She ah. looks so good. As soon as I saw her eyes, I was like, oh yeah, we know. She's so good. Hmm, here's the thing. I'm noticing a lot of crosses on these people's clothes. Oh, I'm very worried about them. She's holding the world in her hand. I don't she's like these so... evangelical people. I don't like all this religion in my JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like all this religion. Uh, oh yeah, I hate religion actually. That's why he man his on the character. Um, I um, hate religion. Um, so I think next was uh, Joichiro's alt. Yeah. Mm, the man on the roof. Oh, Derek. yes, that was... Oh, was it Derek? Yeah, you're right, it's Derek. Yeah. Derek <laughs> and then the old... The, the monologue man. Look at... Look at... Look at... There he is. I love this man. Oh, he's me smoking a lot more. He's a such lot a mess. Oh, His geez. intro monologue was... That was the... That was a that was a really good. Just beginning monologue set exactly the correct expectations of the character. Actually, wanted to <laughs> Derek yep. every time he defined a word. <laughs> oh my God! He oh, just defined shit. <laughs> so good. Joe Ichiro's alt. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, so you wow. added a little more to the old. Oh, oh, a little oh, more to the old. I did add a little more so to the old. A little bit. Oh, <laughs> so good. That's oh so my fun. god. He's that just, he's just terrifying. the embodiment of death. I he's thought you were the bad guy. I thought that was you. I thought you were the bad guy. That was the point. What the <laughs> fuck? That was the point. I thought that at first for a bit too, and then I was like, wait a second. That's that's not Tally's art style. Sure yeah, exactly. I saw that too, and I was like, wait a minute. And then I'll, uh... 
I'll post Guitar Mass as well now, because I don't remember when it came out first, but here it is. <laughs> Oh, oh it's so good. So cool. It's a little hard to see the little eye thing on Discord, yeah. but it's so cool. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Oh my god. Um, I still have no idea what it does. Yep. Please nerf Rohan. Please nerf And you guys know who's next. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hope y'all didn't forget about him. <laughs> yeah. The night ride. The night ride. The night ride. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's so yeah, good. Yeah, he's gotta pay that child. So I'm serious. These crosses are very worried. Jagger swagger. Jagger swagger. I think I killed Ken and Wesley when I showed him that. Hang on. He has a door on his jacket? Yep. Yeah, he has a I door. I see a red on door and I want to paint it black. <laughs> Oh, no. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Callie's the worst. We get it. All right. Yeah, I did something that's probably illegal. I made the night stroller cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I Implying mean, the already the cool in the first so place. Fair. I want. I want the night stroller to just be like a recurring character throughout all Dang. the road. That would be so yes. cool. Make the Knight Rider a recurring Maybe character. We'll see him again. Yes. Yeah. Randomly. Yes. Do you guys want to see Grace? Oh yeah, Grace. Grace is Yes. Throw yes. it. Oh my oh, God, that looks so, so sick. sick. Grace. I feel so bad for her. For <laughs> you. I want to go into more of the shit that's going on with her, but like, I can't. Hey, the murder two people. Out. She's giving me access to That's a plus. Not dead. Not dead. Not dead. <laughs> In the world where everything's fucked. Man, a fucking... Uh, uh, man, if I was able to fucking punch her, this would have been such a cool fight. Metal versus right metal. Now, I had a you made really your cool stand after I made her stand. And I was just like, oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, this is gonna yeah. be fun. <laughs> oh, man. And then on top of... Fucking hell. Fucking hell. That was so great. I can't believe oh. Metal Stand doing Metal Stand happened episode one. For real. Um, and then here's Rhapsody of Fire's armor. Yeah. It doesn't have a form, it's integrated, but I felt like doing this anyway. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so cool. That is so cool. Oh my god. Yeah, the six foot flopper day that nearly still... killed a Japanese man. <laughs> I love how it still looks constantly sad. She is in a lot of pain. Don't worry yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, why does everyone have to be sad? Wait, <laughs> the armor from from like the spikes and shit kind of looks like a rat. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Wait, does it look- Oh, I see the rat! Oh, yeah, it's a rat! Rat. <laughs> <laughs> rat city of fire. Rat city rat of fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's rat city. And Rats. this last one, I am going to go mental over. Y'all want to see Dawn? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Look at her, Dawn. Please. Please. Oh, oh, my oh my god. Oh my god, she's so badass. No. What? Is she this time? Uh, yeah, it's I think that's she. a dude. No, she's oh, a girl. Okay, okay. Oh my god, she's so badass! I, 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 I suggested at one point in development that her name be changed to Dusk. <laughs> oh my god! I'm telling you right now, if Dawn's name was changed to Dusk... <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything! <laughs> I'm not gonna say gonna anything! Say anything. <sighs> okay? I'm not saying anything. That's all I'm He's saying. Cybernetics user. And that is um um uh, the end of session one. Oh Hell God. yeah! Woo. This is so cool. Holy so cool. So same time tomorrow. I still. <laughs> no. Oh, I wanted to post yeah, this. Yeah, it's not Fuck. like I'm. It's not like we're playing stream what? tomorrow. Shadow oh yeah! Oh. Uh...